Yo, my little One Life Wonders, it's your boy, hey, God of Hindsight, here to bring you another totally hype recap. Let's go! Last time on Part-Time Gods, the deities took some time to work and manage their mortal obligations. Noelle auditioned to reappear on the survival reality show, Last One Standing. Afterward, a strange man introduced himself as Francis, the god of fences. He claimed to be a neighbor of her pantheon and complained that they were encroaching on his territory. He demanded they cancel their pantheon ritual or else things might turn violent. Meanwhile, Will moved forward with the pantheon process and Andrew worked a shift at the fire station. Then they both met with Alma to learn more about her task force. She officially welcomed them to the team and asked them to track down a goblin who defected from the Goblin King's forces. She believes he may be a source of valuable intel. Andrew created a competition within the city for the most traitorous yellow goblin, and then used his dominion over awards to track down the winner. This led the group to a base of goblin pucks in a local junkyard. Here the deities met Drab, the goblin defector and surprisingly, the god of strategy. He became a god after the Goblin King gifted him with a divine spark. After convincing Drab to cooperate, the gods learned that the Goblin King is actually Horatio, the god of atheism, who seeks to wipe out all other gods. Drab agreed to meet with the task force to share more information and help bring down Horatio. Aw oh man, I bet that pesky little goblin's gonna get what he deserves. Say your prayers, mortals, because more part-time gods starts right now. Fellow geeks, welcome to tonight's episode of Part-Time Gods. Thanks for joining us, hanging out tonight. Uh, for those of you who are not caught up on this series, we've got it posted on YouTube, so you can go catch up and hopefully uh, watch live along with us as we uh, see these players play some awesome deities of various things. And speaking of those things, let's let the players tell you about them. We'll talk about who we've got joining us tonight. Uh, Tori, we'll go ahead and we'll start with you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and about your character, Noelle? Hello, uh, I'm Tori. I'm part of the Level 1 Geek crew here. And I play lots of games. Sometimes I run them, but lately I've just been playing. And I have no complaints about that. Uh, I am playing Noelle Audubon. She is the goddess of birds and is generally unenthused about everything except for birds uh, and being outdoors. And beating her rival Pimpton Sinclair into powder, just Can't like he deserves. <laughs> Can't be done. Too strong. Too strong. Too strong. Uh, and that is Noelle. I, I guess the one thing, in case you're new, uh, she eats all the time and eats a lot of stuff that most people wouldn't consider edible. Um, but she gets special powers from things that she eats, so expect... A lot of snackage. The end. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't know anybody who eats cherubs, so that checks out. Cherubs? Cherubs? I, cherubs. I it. cherubs. Cherubs. But now you've cherubs. branded it in this universe as cherubs. Cherubs. So I think <laughs> you should just here. stick with that. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Tori. Uh, all right, let's move along to Nathan. Why don't you tell us about you and your character? Yeah, hello. I am Nathan. I... Uh... I am part of the Knights of Bastille. We're a company that makes mobile apps for role-playing games. If you're a person that loves doing market interviews, we're actually rolling out some changes that, we, you know, if you're looking for a little hookup, little promo code or something, let me know. We're, we're, we're building some apps that are 
We're going to change the world. Ooh, sure. How exciting. I um, need some good apps. Yeah, and I am playing Will Fife, the god of wireless communication. Uh, some of his powers include reading everyone's texts and just generally being a good person. But that's, you know, everyone has that superpower, right? No, almost. If those two go hand in hand is to be determined. A good, yeah, everybody. A good balance to the pantheon. Everybody can and, read uh, everyone's texts. <laughs> that's true, you know? Fantastic. That's, Thank you, Nathan. That's Will, yeah. Go ahead. Good stuff. Awesome. Uh, Bill, why don't you tell us about you and about Andrew? Uh, hi, I'm Bill. I'm a podcaster. I make a show called Escape This Podcast, where we do escape rooms and uh, a show called Solve This Murder, where we solve murders. Uh, I'm also just looking up specifically exactly uh, how regional it is uh, that Americans say the word deity uh, as opposed to us real English speakers who say deity. Uh, oh. so just just point that out for you it's a regional it is a regional difference not a personal okay one. it's not uh, it's not a chase problem that's not like a chase it's not a it's okay. not a sheriff issue it's a <laughs> it's one like deity that is how americans say deity isn't it that's funny um <laughs> and i'm playing andrew stewart who is a uh scottish backpacker turned firefighter turned god of awards and uh, you know he's a he's a pretty cool dude. He just wants everybody to succeed on their own terms, for competitions to be fair, uh, and also to save people from fire. That's those are his three main concerns. Uh, his new concerns are also killing the Goblin King and saving the world of gods. That's some big things. aspirations. <laughs> or Fantastic. the world of deities. Well, the world of deities. Yes, so Doesn't that sound better, deities. everybody? You know, I'm not going to lie. It does. It does <laughs> it's sound not more better. correct. It just, mm, I love it. It just deities. has a nicer ring to it. Sounds more powerful. Good stuff. So these are awesome players we have with us tonight. Uh, I am Chase, part of Level 1 Geek Team, alongside Tori and Emily. And also, behind the scenes, we have Katie, part of the Level 1 Geek Team. Uh, she's going to be chatting with you guys in chat, pushing the buttons, and uh, managing all of our chat interactions. So... Big thank you to Katie as well. Uh, speaking of those chat interactions, we have them. You guys are already using them, so it looks like you know how. If you guys don't know how to use the chat interactions, uh, I'm not going to explain them because we talked about them in the first episode, and they've been rolling for every episode since. But if you are new and want some details, you can either use the command exclamation point pantheon, exclamation point cursed, or exclamation point worshiper to see what you can do to uh, play alongside the game and do some things to alter it in a fun way. Um, just uh, for a quick overview of what they do, Pantheon and Cursed Dice you see right there, those are dice pools. Pantheon dice help our players roll with no strings attached. Curse will help them with strings attached, or I can use them for the bad guys. And if you guys become a worshiper by uh, monetarily doing some Patreon support, gifting subs, subscribing yourself, we'll shout you out on the stream, like we're about to do right now for last session. Uh, also, it passively helps the characters get some extra experience and do some fun things on the side. So, uh, Tori, why don't you kick us off tonight? Give us a shout out from Noelle to her worshipers from last week. Just want to say thank you to Always a Wolf, a very uh, frequent visitor to Noelle's birding forum, which I have officially named, by the way, mm -hmm. um, because I... I want you guys to know with your patronage, I created an official group of worshipers. So that is now on my character sheet. It is called the Bird's Eye View Forum. Um, so thank you, Always a Wolf, for being a member of the Bird's Eye View. And uh, may you hear the constant, incessant love song of the morning doves as they sit together and sing of their eternal love. Fantastic. I love that. That's beautiful. Well done. Big thank you to Noel's supporters. All right, uh, Nathan, I think Will's got some from last week as well. You want to give some shout outs? I do. I have three. And uh, in return for your 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 worship of last week, I'm offering these these blessings individually. Always a wolf. This week, you're going to be texting. And that little reply, you know, that uh, the, uh, the little animation that says someone is like replying to you. 
you're going to see that, but you will also see exactly what they're thinking while they're typing that. But hopefully that brings you fortune. Um, it never bring fortune. <laughs> I know it's, it's a, it could be a loaded one, but or here's, here's open. Here's for open. Uh, Wombat Fuzz, um, this week, you'll be on video con if you're on video con hopefully you are but you will not hear the words um can you hear me uh on a video call this week and uh man enjoy that what a relief <laughs> and then we've got Im uh, improv and d uh, and rpg yours is a little special this one is you're going to be posting content this week and as you post that you will see in your mind's eye the joy that your content will share and you'll see the happy faces of your followers and uh they're your blessings this week enjoy some top tier blessings from the god of wireless communication love it thank you nathan thank you to will supporters from last week we appreciate you uh now i have some for some sinister support to the real life unicorn from minotaurs, goblins, sinister deities alike. Thank you. We appreciate the chaos that you sow. Unicorns and archdevils are our allies in chaos for us outsiders. May all the chaos stay here on the stream, and may none of it follow you home. And there's a blessing for real life unicorn. Thank you for the support from last week. All right, and I think that's uh, I think that's all we had for last week. So thank you, everybody. We appreciate all of you, whether it be supporting via worships, whether it be just chatting in the chat, whether it be telling your friends about the show. We appreciate you very much. Much love helps us do what we love doing. So thank you, thank you. We really appreciate you. All right. Um. So we had a recap at the start of the stream. Uh. For those of you who are just joining, we are playing part-time gods and uh we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump back into it just for a quick reminder of where we left off with our players you guys had just chatted with drav who was the yellow goblin that andrew had found through very creative means of his dominion uh and you also found out that drav was the new god of strategy courtesy of the goblin king and drav was pretty familiar with the goblin king aka horatio the god of atheism uh which is what you guys just learned and he's pretty frightened of the Goblin King. He was seeming a little bit hopeless and down, but you guys gave him a very nice rallying speech and uh, convinced him to come hear your task force out. He wanted to talk to the leader of it, and he uh, arranged for you guys to set up a meeting tomorrow. And then you guys, uh, Noel, I believe you, you blinked yourselves out so you weren't followed, but you were still at the, uh, the junkyard, correct? Yeah, I didn't want to go super far. Okay, very cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of pick up where we left off. Anything you guys wanted to roleplay or discuss before you guys head home for the evening? It is quite late. You guys had an evening of camp streaming and bingo and ice cream and uh, Andrew finding the goblin before you guys actually headed to the junkyard. But right. what are you guys doing? I have one thing before we leave this location. Yeah, for sure. Noelle blinks us out and she turns to you guys. So mm -hmm. I know this goblin guy is like supposed to be our new ally or whatever, but like maybe we could poke around and see if we could figure out where his hideout is exactly in case he just like disappears. You know what I mean? Hey, we could. Like the only issue with that is like all of these like new relationships are built on trust. And I don't know if you want to immediately distrust him. Like, you might be right. It could be, like, the, the, the correct strategic call. But also, like, you know, I feel like we didn't leave there on a on a hugely strong footing. I think it's a little bit tenuous. And maybe if he finds out that we're immediately looking into his secrets, while, it be bad for us. While Andrew is talking about trust, um, <laughs> you're Will waiting on my message. like, actively... I'm going to do a manifestation. Um, and that is going to be an area, area sense, which I think can let me find things and people. I'd uh -huh. love to use that ability just to kind of, yeah, where were we? Who's this? Figure out where they're at. Okay. Um, yeah. Go ahead and let's roll that manifestation check. Let's see. Let me reference my sheet, sheet here. Oh, you've got it. Yeah. 
Oracle and Intuition. So that's eight dice there. And uh, I'm going to roll. Let me uh, pull up the uh, roller. Keep talking about trust, Andrew, if you'd like. Well, Noel is going to look at Andrew with a scowl. I, I don't think I've ever built any relationship on trust. Yes, I know. And that's why we are the only relationship that you still have, because we trust you. And that also, seems wait, like hold on a second. A we're here talking good... about trust. And did I hear that you were, you're re-auditioning to be back on that show? Have we not discussed this? One success. You told me that I couldn't win the last season, and I didn't. I, we didn't but the talk reasoning about has not the future changed. seasons. You're, you're still competing with mortals in a competition. You can't win this one either. Listen, I'm really hungry. I don't think this is like the best time to talk about your stupid rules. These aren't my rules. Well, I suppose they are my rules, actually. I'm the god of awards. Yeah, you know what? They are my rules, but I'd like to take the stupid part out. This is what I do. I, I don't shoot birds now that we are friends. I don't go around messing things up. I don't try and go and work with scientists on a strange Costa Rican island to reproduce dinosaurs, because I understand that's the world that you control. This is the world that I control. So maybe like give me a little bit of respect here. I find that half the time with you two, I'm just like yelling at a brick wall and you do your own thing. Well, what are you doing? Uh, and you got one success. You can bo boost that up with two if you would like with uh, one of your shards. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to boost it up. Okay. I mean, why not? He's just, he's a curious guy. Um, that's two successes is what it is then. Okay, excellent. And so what are you trying to sense here and how does it relate to your domain? So I'm trying to pick him on a geolocation. He's got, I mean, just trying to figure out where he is and where we came from, where where that's at. Because I know he's being a little obscure about exactly where he was hiding. Is that correct? Uh-huh, yeah. And so I'm trying to break through that. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, with three successes, you should definitely be able to get an two. area. Two, two, just two. Oh, Shard does two. two. Oh, Shard does three. two more. You got three. three. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I mean, you'll be able to pick them up. I mean, you've got your Will digital GMAP type location here. Uh, you can see you are in the junkyard where you arrived at. Uh, you can kind of get a sense from where Noel blinked you from. It was near the junkyard. Uh, but you can actually see there's like a little section of just piled up ruined cars, maybe a good half mile to the northeast. You feel like that's where you came from. So not directly in the junkyard, but close. Okay. And did I pick up on any of the goblins' texts while I was in there? Uh, you pick up on a lot of weird transmission signals, but none of them like traditional cell phone okay. texts or anything like that. Then uh, Will turns to Andrew and... I don't know. Just thinking. Oh, you're just thinking. Like, I know how you two work. I know you're always looking around, and I'm trying to say we shouldn't do it, but, uh, but, you know, I suppose nobody listens to me. So maybe I'll, I'll just go home. I'll don't see you tomorrow. A, we have a meeting. Don't be such a drama queen. I'll be whatever kind of queen I want. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, whatever. Go home yeah, and look, cry. I, have an, See you I have an injured swimmer to look to, so I'm going to go and do that and then go home. I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Uh, bye, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Noel just walks away. Excellent. So it is the middle of the night. Uh, I mean, Andrew is, well, yeah, Andrew is the closest to home. Uh, Jane's Craft and Stationery is fairly nearby. How are you guys getting home? Then Noel will sigh angrily and march back over and grab Will's arm and drag him off with her because she doesn't want to leave him out in a junkyard oh. by himself in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, on, there is a good taco place in town. I think it, it, according to the hours, it's still open. She shoots a glare at Andrew. Okay, fine, but you're not invited. 
to Andrew, I'm... not to Will. <laughs> Well, it's like it was my suggestion. <laughs> I, 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 I wonder if this would be a good time to bring up the fact that I didn't actually finish all of the paperwork for the Pantheon. I did what? Well, I thought I that's literally what you were supposed to do today. <laughs> the day really got away from me. Um, a few chess maths matches later, and yeah, it just wasn't quite wrapped up. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I don't, it's like Andrew we'll, we'll, we'll doesn't even want to be in later. a pantheon with us anyway, so maybe it's fine. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So Noel and Will are going to get tacos, and Andrew's just heading home. Yeah, I have to. I have someone who prayed last session as a, as uh -huh. a thing that I need to fix. Yeah. Uh, and. It's because they were training and training and training. They got injured right before a big swimming meet. The only thing I need to do to, to determine whether or not I need to act in this case uh -huh. is to figure out how they hurt themselves. Okay. Yeah. Because if they uh... hurt themselves in a freak accident, I'll heal them up. Because I don't think all of their effort should go to waste because of this terrible twist of fate. If they hurt themselves in training... Then they deserve the injury. The injury is right. Like that's the whole point. You can't if you train so hard that you injure yourself. That is you failing before the final. Like you know, you train to. So if you then if you train so hard, injure yourself, then get someone to heal the injury magically. That's you can't do that. That's there's a reason the other people didn't train that hard because it makes you injure yourself. They made the correct decision. You can't be rewarded for your own brazen lack of self care. That's part of the. Point. That's part of what judges you as an athlete. So can this be the monologue to the taxi driver as as Andrew is on his way home? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. No, what I'm saying is, uh, so that's that's my 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 uh, my concern when it comes to this person's uh, prayer, whether or not this is an injury they need to learn from, or that I can intervene in. Fantastic. And how is it that you would like to try to determine how they injured themselves? See, there's a there's a question as whether I use magic or whether I call their doctor. Um, <laughs> you do have access to a, a temporal view uh, as a deity, which is Oracle plus perception. You're always able to pull that as if it was right within the immediate vicinity if it's from a prayer. So that oh, is an nice. option you have. Oh, I'll, love, I'll, I'll, I'll happily do that. Fantastic. Some right. Oracle plus perception because my Oracle is three and my perception is four. Oh, nice. You're great at this. Yeah, this is what I'm made for. Finding stuff out. <laughs> All right. Let's roll seven of your human dice. I got... Oh, not... Oh, I got, like, two successes? What did I it's get? It's like three. One, yeah, two, three. Three, three successes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three successes. I close... I'm in the taxi. I'm mid-rant, and I stop. I go, wait. I just have to... <laughs> Fantastic. And suddenly, I can see the, 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 the swimmer. I see them going back in time, back to their training, back to the injury. And what do I see, Chase? Fantastic. Yeah, you see like a, a high school girl who's been training hard. You see like montage of her training and swimming. She's very fast. She's very good. And uh, after the montage of training, you get a flashback where it looks like she's just walking her dog in the park. Just uh, she's got a big old German shepherd as a dog. And that dog sees another dog, gets angry, and just yanks her right down on the leash. And she falls in the wrong way. Looks like she frag not frag fractures her ankle. Okay. Well, this deserves this this, you know, this is an unfortunate thing. I'm glad they prayed. I need to try and, and heal this injury. Uh so I go, oh, and I and I sorry, can you go to this apartment, please? And I change address and st I stop heading home because I have to go and heal an ankle. Uh-huh. How's your uh, free time looking? Uh, my free time? Don't even uh -huh. ask. Because, <laughs> because this, if this costs me a free time, will take me to my max. Five out of five. Fantastic. All right. It will indeed cost a free time. All right. So I'm going to pay that. I start to feel like I should maybe use some uh, of my experience to increase the free time that work gives me. <laughs> uh, that you okay. could. All right. Right uh, now, yeah, my so... work gives me a free time of one. I don't have much time. 
<laughs> that is not a whole lot. That's very true. All I'm right, a busy uh, man. Yeah, so you know, middle of the night, you get taken uh, to you know just outside this apartment building. Uh, what's your plan here to answer this prayer? Okay, surely there's some kind of. Uh... I'm trying to figure out, like, if I can use godly powers, my manifestations to heal, and I'm trying to look at which one makes the most sense. Probably not ruin. Uh, but maybe <laughs> Aegis. I'm just having a look at what uh, the the wording is on some of these skills. Uh, yeah, I believe the typical healing combination is purge, which is yeah. So Aegis that's Aegis and medicine, medicine which mm -hmm. I'm I'm happy to do. Um, if I if I get really like if I decide this is field medicine, mm -hmm, it gives me a plus one because of my uh, my occupation. But I don't know if that's if that's viable. I think um, that if you if you if you can physically treat this girl, I think it would feel medicine would apply. Yeah, but but if I'm it's, not doing that. That's yeah. Crazy. You're flexing your dominion, which only probably works for you because it's uh, to try to alter the fate of an award. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go for Aegis and medicine. And if I need to use a couple of fragments, I can do that too because I've got three of them. All right. Um, all right. So I'm gonna roll four dice for people playing at home. That's my Aegis plus my medicine. And I got, ooh, never mind. What, they're Dang. all successes. Oh, I what deleted my roll. accident. But that was what, one, two, three, four, five successes? Yep. So I'm happy on with that. four dice. <laughs> five That's successes on four great. dice. Shouldn't even be possible, but it is. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, is this is a breeze. That's actually going to give you a look, boost as well. Yeah. Oh, a boost on a, on a manifest. Can I do something cool with that? I don't know if I... Yeah, can you can. Uh, I mean, at the very least, you can add a Pantheon dice. Yeah, throw a Pantheon dice in the pool. I'll get I'll, I'll get our own Pantheon dice. I don't need you, chat. And uh, <laughs> look, I could go through the exact specifics of what I do with those five successes. I don't think we need to go through. Yeah, no. To, that's to heal to the injury is pretty angle. minor. It was like two successes. You needed, exactly. So. I could be like, here's a target, and here's how long it goes. And he, I, I just, I heal the ankle. I'll, it's like you see, you know, a shot of Andrew Stewart leaning against the door a few floors below the apartment, not wanting to go in. Because again, it's a high school girl's apartment. Like it's her room and her parents' apartment. I don't need to go into this house is what I'm saying. I'll yeah. just be sitting, like someone walks past and they see Andrew just like arms crossed against the wall, looking, just concentrating a little bit. And they're like, okay, bye. Um, but he's- as you, as you walk away, you hear the German shepherd barking at you from the- And I kill the, the dog. <laughs> It'll never injure her again. No, I would never. Uh, and so, yeah, just try and, and, and just knit together the bone, fix that ankle, and leave an impression in her mind that her prayer has been answered by the god of competition. But she's not assured the win. She Fantastic. knows deep down this has not made her any better. This has not made her any more likely to win. I'm not, I'm not here to give her a prize. That's something that she needs to earn herself. I'm just here to make sure that she can try. She gets to do her best. Fantastic. Consider that a prayer answered and consider you at zero free time. And, no. uh, <laughs> yeah, where do you go from here? Uh, you said I go. Home. Apparently, I've got to work. I thought I got to go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to okay. sleep unless that costs me free time, which case, so. No, oh, no, 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 no. You're good. You can rest without free time during the night hours. Um, go where do you reside? Like, where do you usually sleep at? You know what? I think because of that lack of free time, because I'm on, on call, I think I'm just sleeping at the station. Excellent. Just got like a little bunk there for... Yeah, there's there's a whole... Of, there's, there's, it's like a uh, like a hostel kind of, you know, there's like six beds in a room that everyone sleeps in. I've heard firemen actually have like crazy hours, if I yeah, have heard correctly. Yeah, they're firemen. Yeah. <laughs> Fire doesn't run on a schedule. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just be sleeping there. There's a chance I'll be woken up in the middle of the night to go off and and work, but as of now, it's just I'm just going to sleep. Fantastic. All right, uh, Noel, Will, you guys grab your tacos, heading back to your own uh, residences after that. Yep. Good stuff. Yep. Uh, where does Will reside? Does Will have a house? He lives next door to the, the Jane's Craft and Stationery. Fantastic. And what about you, Noel? Do you live in your bird sanctuary or do you have a different abode? Um, I just have a tiny hole in the wall apartment. Um, probably over here. Okay. That general 
near near Zigo Bay. Yeah, near, near Zigo Bay, Bay, near the sanctuary, near the coast. I like to see the seabirds over there. Fantastic. And that's why it's so small, because it's expensive. I love it. Good stuff. All right, yeah, you guys uh, return home for the evening. Now, gods typically do sleep. Uh, unless they have like a truth that says that they don't, but you know, you guys get tired just like normal mortals probably have better endurance than the typical mortal, but you do still have the biological need to sleep. Um, all of you guys going to sleep tonight? Yeah. Fantastic. Let's have after, everybody after writing a letter. Uh, Ooh, and huh. I, I write my, if you recall episode one, my will has a pen pal that he will uh, be corresponding to. And then, uh, we'll go to bed. Love it. Letter written and then nodding off for the night. During this evening, before we time skip ahead, I need all of you to roll me a perception plus intuition. Hmm. I don't like the sound of this. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> did, I, did we forget to say that we are posting someone on watch? Is that what's... <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. I got a lot of dice for this. I got eight dice. My goodness. I'm very perceptive and intuitive. Apparently. But I only got two successes. Two successes is enough. Nathan, re-roll, please, because you rolled D8s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just realized that. Yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Nathan. <gasps> That's no successes. a critical failure. Anyone? That's a critical ah, fail. That's that is the indeed first one. a critical fail. The first oh, one. So who are we going to recast to to join our pantheon <laughs> now? <laughs> All right. What about what about you, Andrew? I, I made a joke. Or was it Noel? Yeah, Andrew got two. I got one success. One's enough. All right. Excellent. I should have kept the D8s. <laughs> yeah, they did a little bit for reals. All right. So. Uh, for you guys now first of all this is from three of the four uh nasty curses that i was gifted last week uh andrew and noel you guys are sleeping peacefully and uh you're awoken by the sound hovering over you of like a clunk 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 clunk, clunk and it sounds like wood tapping together like if somebody's hitting two wooden it's sticks it's the together. freaking fence guy i'm running out there i will murder this man <laughs> so as you wake up in an angry rage, ready to go murder a man. Let me show you what you see, because looming over you in your bed, ah. you see this. Oh, like... It Aww. looks like a fence post with a couple of other fence posts standing over you, kind of like in a stick figure shape. And over my bed? Over I, your I bed, like... and it looks like it's animated, and it's getting ready to smack you on the head. I feel uh, like I've missed something here. Who's the fence guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I don't think Noel told you guys about this. Oh no, Noel got too mad at Andrew and she forgot to tell you. <laughs> what was the fence guy? Okay, even okay. The fence I will recap. Tori will recap. You guys don't know, but at um, Noel's <clears throat> uh, press conference. Francis, the god of fences, approached her and was complaining That's that our right. pantheon was encroaching on his territory. And Noelle dealt with him in the way that she deals with all other people, and it didn't go well. And so now he's mad, and he said he threatened them with violence, and I forgot about Noelle was going to tell you, and Tori and Noelle both forgot to do that. So yep. here cool. we are. I remember now. I forgot about the fence. <laughs> I still remember the goblins. I forgot about who's coming up as our secondary antagonist. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Now we're going to roll initiative. Now, um, Will, you wake up a little bit different. You don't hear a ka-clunk, ka-clunk. You hear a reverberating in your head as a piece of wood just cracks you on top of the head really hard. Uh, you're going to take a condition concussed two, which oh. is going to give you a minus two to your any any mental related roll until that condition is cleared. And uh, yeah, let's get some combat music on and let's roll initiative. Uh, you guys can just roll and then give me your number and I will go ahead and put your initiative in for you. Okay. And real quick, I, I, I don't know if this ability will apply in this scenario, but I should bring it up anyway. I have uh -huh. the uh, uh, this blessing of, oh gosh, what is it? 
uh, no, not a blessing. My my truth mm -hmm. is. Um, let me find it. Let me find it. Give me a second. <laughs> Something about. It. Is it the innocent? It's not the innocent. Here, gosh, truth. While in the presence of the God of Wi-Fi, others have a greater sense of uh, connectedness, soothing aura. I don't know if this would soothe Excellent. them at all, but it's in this case, it, initiative. yeah, this case it will not. Okay. Uh, also, no, for initiative, you'll just roll one d10 and add your initiative bonus. We'll oh, snore. My bad. Counter that. <laughs> I forgot about initiative. Yeah, no, yeah. you're good. Even though that uh, roll was really good. One, D10. All right, what did uh, you get for initiative, Will? Um, Zeros or tens? Zero, so ten. Ten? Okay, no initiative bonus? Oh, gosh. It's on the top of your character oh. sheet. <laughs> uh, the initiative is four. So, 14. What about you, Andrew? Uh, initiative six, but I only rolled a two, so I'm on an eight. All right. What about you, Noel? I landed on a ten total. Ten total. <laughs> Let's see what the post people get. They rolled a ten. I don't like it. Ooh. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Nice. Well, all of you guys are going to be more or less okay, except for Will, who already got conked on the head. So yeah, we're in initiative. You guys are all in your own locations. All of you are kind of simultaneously getting attacked by these postmen. While um, I do feel bad about not telling you guys, I am extremely amused that you two have no idea why you're getting attacked by wooden post the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. All right, Will, you're up first. What do you got? Will's up first, and he's you're in your bed. There's an animated fence post man trying to smack you on the head again. I'm gonna try this. I I want to. I just want to like scour. I gotta. I'm gonna. I just. He's like, what's going on? Wow, this is gonna be intelligent. He's gonna try. I try. I, I'm just gonna try to learn about this thing. Scour the. See if he can do some. What's happening to me? And. It kind of in an attempt, I, it, what am I attempting? Like maybe find a weakness of this thing or something like that. At least get some information that might help me in this combat. That's what I'm Okay, doing. for sure. Uh, yeah, so trying to like glean a weakness, yeah? Correct. All right, and for that, why don't you go ahead and roll me a knowledge plus. Hmm, <laughs> what would this be? Go ahead and roll me a knowledge plus, not tech, probably intuition. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna be five, but I have I have the concuss, so it actually reduces it by two. Two reduces two successes or two dice. Two dice. Okay, so I get three dice. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull from the pantheon here. At least two dice. I got I got it, guys. I got it. And uh, it's gonna be five. Here it goes. All right, um, one success. All right, one success. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you know, you rack your brain of what is this post thing attacking you? Uh, you can't think of any outsiders that look like this. This doesn't look like a golem or anything sophisticated. This looks like something animated. Uh, it, it looks like a manifestation to you. Like another god is probably doing this. Yeah. Totally not helpful, but thank you. That is exactly <laughs> what Will would have done. So, all right, that's it. All yeah. right, the fence. I get I get a, I get a uh, the a defense stance, right? Yep. And that will be cowering the blocking one, cowering in in my bed. Fantastic! I love that. And I think when we do combat here, uh, if you guys want some time to think about your defense, I'll let you guys choose your defense. Like when I'm ready to attack you, I'll be like, "Hey, there's an attack coming at you." What was your defense? That way you guys have some time to think about it. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Noel, you're up. Yes. Okay. Uh, Noel is going to leap out of bed. Uh -huh. And... Comes quickly scurrying towards you. Um. Yeah. She's. She wants to... I want to throw open my window and use a manifestation. Okay. And can I do that in one in one little go here? Yeah, so your quick action would be opening the window. Yeah. 
<clears throat> okay. And then I want to uh, summon some woodpeckers. <laughs> Excellent. I love that. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and let's roll the manifestation. That, that would the be God of summon. when you need them. God of yes, fingers. that'd be beckon and knowledge. I also, believe. in terms of movement here, we're not using like an actual combat map for this. And you guys are in tight quarters, so yeah. we're assuming you're going to be like back and forth adjacent unless something crazy happens. Okay, so there's my dice. All right, beckon plus knowledge. What you got? Dang, three successes. Oh, nice. Love it. Okay. Um, yes. So, sorry, let me go to the manifest measure table. Okay. <clears throat> um, I guess I want to put... Uh, so, would damage be part of this? Like, to indicate how much they do? Or would it be more like, should I dump it more into magnitude with, like, how powerful these woodpeckers uh, are? I think they will be, <laughs> they'll be their own the creature place. to, like, okay. bring them in here, so. Okay. Um, in that case, I'll put one into range, because I imagine there aren't any woodpeckers in my apartment. So, probably, uh, you know. Now, here's the thing that's interesting. If you want to call in a single woodpecker, you can use range. If you want to call like any woodpecker, oh, you're going to have to right. do an area effect. Area effect. That's what mm -hmm. I want to do. Okay. Then I will do... I'll do two successes on area. So a one mile area, all the woodpeckers that I can get. And Fantastic. then I guess duration, uh, one scene. Does that work? Yep. I like it. Okay. Now, when you summon a living creature, it's not just there. They have to, they, they get drawn towards you. So the distress call has been sent out, and then that'll happen on a future round. Why don't you roll me a d4, though? Okay. This is the chance to get Woody Woodpecker, and he just ruins <laughs> the whole interaction. I got a four. Yeah. All right. Four. Noted. All right, uh, that's it for Noel. Go ahead and think about your defense, and I'll get it from you when the time comes. All right, Andrew, you're up. Uh, I have a plan. My plan is, action-wise, I would like to scramble out of bed, and hey, guess where I was sleeping? In the, in the sleeping section of a fire station. So there will definitely be a big old cupboard full of fire axes. <laughs> I would like one please i like spend so my axes true. this round moving and collecting a an axe i'm i think that's too much to then also swing and i'm happy that's fine i can swing that axe next turn yeah that's um, totally fair you can acquire an axe now with a fireman's axe it's probably pretty good quality so while you're waiting for your next turn why don't you go ahead and take a three point quality fire axe and go ahead and choose brilliant what i'll build axe. up a three point axe and uh the, my defense is all pretty chill it's just like a brace and an and a athletic and a and a dodge but we'll get to that i'll roll that when i get attacked fantastic all right uh we're gonna go with the postman and we're gonna start with noel's and i'm gonna spend my last curse on this one and uh noel yours looks i mean you can't see what's happening to the other people but from a observer's point of view yours just looks extra angry just like vengeance flowing through this thing and it's gonna it's gonna smack its arms on the wall it's gonna scuff up your wall pretty good and it's gonna snap its little wooden boards so they're very sharp like this thing's going for the kill and uh okay it's gonna attack you all right i would so like what kind to... of defense would you like to do i would like to dodge because i don't have my talons out right now um and right. yeah, I don't yeah. need a quick defense, I don't think. Yeah. All right, go ahead and roll your defense dice. I will roll my attack dice. A. Speed. And actually, you know what? I'm going to take the five curse dice. I'm just going to, we're just going all out. We're going to make this thing super angry. Well, if we're going all out, then I'd like to retroactively call on something. Oh, uh -huh. I would like to just quickly add a uh, Pantheon dice to our Pantheon because I oh. think my earlier uh, annoyance with my friends is an expression of my 
I know best being a know-it-all curse. Oh, that I, have. I didn't oh, yeah. know you had that. I love that. I love so, that. Uh, I would like to add a Pantheon <laughs> dice that we can use at some point to save ourselves. Yeah, let's add that uh, in. By Production. calling on that curse. One uh, more Pantheon By dice. just thinking I know better than everybody else. <laughs> so good. All right, Tori, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven successes. Oof. Uh, okay. I got three successes. All right. So, I do have armor on. Ooh, nice. And this is your relic, right? So it's reasonable yeah. that you would have that ready to go. Yes, because it's it can cover it can be any kind of clothing. Uh, nice. It's subtle. Does so, it like magically kind of like flare up when you defend against this? Um. Yeah, I think it's sort of. Yeah, I think it's like. Um, just like a almost like a wing flaps in front of me to like help uh block some of the blow here i still get hit definitely but awesome okay yeah so it's armor value one yes all right so i've got seven your you got three successes yes no, so i'm, I'm at, so three sorry, successes I got, I got how many again i got you said one, you got two, three, seven four. i, I, I thought one <laughs> yeah okay seven successes your three reduce it down to four. Your uh -huh. armor reduces it down to three. Uh -huh. Me having a weapon puts it up to four. So you are okay. taking four damage, and you can split that between your health damage or your physical conditions. Okay. I'm just going to take it all to health. I like it. All right. Uh, now, uh, Wills, yours is going to attack you. Yours just has clunky boards. It's wallin'. It's going to try to smack board. you in the head again. I'm going to take a little different defense because I, as I was thinking about it, thank you for giving me the time. Uh -huh, for sure. It's going to tend to, so roll out of bed uh -huh. and will align with my, what I, what he's going to do next. I love it. Yeah. Go ahead and so roll the, those so defense dodge. guys. And I think that, what is it? Uh, speed and gosh, what's the other one? We'll find it here. Speed and athletics. Speed and athletics. Right. Athletics, of course, is not great. Speed is not great. Will is not meant to be fighting people, okay? Nah. Well, you know, you shouldn't have annoyed the fence guard. Okay. Yeah, Will, what and, were you thinking? Uh, yeah, yeah, Will. <laughs> and I would like to say that I think that the name of the of the postman attacking you is Clunky Boards. Clunky Boards. I think Clunky um, Boards is a good name for him. No successes there. Do you just roll one dice? That's right. We I learned this in the dice. goblin. You, you can you take pantheon dice. Pantheon Will? dice. Come on. Yeah. Or cursed pan. dice. Or cursed dice. If you want, you do you, do you man? Yeah. Let's do some cursed dice. We're gonna just we're gonna do. There's gonna four do of them. Four. If I'm gonna do cursed dice, you go all in with the curses, right? Yeah. Go for. So, four dice here. Four. Hey. So he can only curse us once. So yeah. Here's, here's, Okay, so here's another uh, bit bit to that. Two successes there. Oh, right, three two. successes there. Nice. I only got three uh, hits, so that's going to negate it. So you're all out of bed. Here's your curse effect right out the gate. This thing swings right over you as you roll out of bed. This is going to clip your headboard so hard that it's going to break your headboard, and it's also going to break one of its arms into a sharp point, kind of like Noelle's. So yours now also has a weapon. Okay, no problem. All right, Andrew, yours is coming at you. Okay. Yours still just has the clunky arms. Yeah, I'm. Look, I'm. I'm trying to just dodge around. I'm moving. I'm scrambling to get to, to like as because it's attacking me, presumably in, in the the fiction while I'm running to get this axe, and I'm just yeah, dodging yeah. around. Uh, you hear so a clunk, 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 clunk as it runs yeah, behind yeah, you. Good old clunky board. They jump like uh, little pogo sticks. <laughs> perfect. Uh, so I'm rolling, uh, do, 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 do. where's my character sheet? Speed and athletics is uh, five dice. Five dice. Let's go. Roll good, because I rolled pretty mean against you. You right, did roll good. Five dice, that is three successes, plus one because of my bracing, gives me four total successes. That's going to negate. A big old hit me, whap clunky. of a board hits you, but you're able to brace, so it doesn't doesn't hurt too much. And that's their turn. Will, you're back up. Okay, this is what Will's going to attempt to do 
You'll have to talk me through how you want this to do. But Will is going to run. But okay. I want to create a manifestation to draw. Like, I also want it to follow me. Mm -hmm. And I think there's this manifestation um, called figments. And what I'm thinking is like all of the all of the smart devices in Will's house start flashing and blinking, kind of luring it it uh, out of his house is, mm -hmm. is what the attempt is. Okay. And uh, if you're uh, cool with that, I will roll for figment. Yeah, if let's do it. Which is soul plus stealth. Um, which gives me five dice. And here they go. Come on. All right. Uh, oh my! How can I get? It's so hard to get critical critical fails in this. No, no, game. you got you got one success. You Seven got one. is a success. Okay. I'm like, holy cow! Dude, what <laughs> Gosh, two ones in there though. Um, isn't there like a? I feel like I'm being a draw on the pantheon here. Uh, can you use you got one ten dice? Pantheon. Always a wolf. Yeah, always a wolf. Just love. juice oh, to set. Oh man, he's saving me here. Uh, can I? Can I use one to change a result? Or to yeah, is it sure something can. like that? Yeah. To, is it yep. change it to any result or? Plus two. One Pantheon will bump uh, one of those dice by plus you could two. Turn so the, the five, five into a success. Yeah. So, so let me turn that five into a success. So that's two successes for me. As I mm -hmm. try to manifest this illusion of sorts of all these devices drawing this thing out of the house. Will doesn't necessarily have to go with it, but he's it's drawing it out. Fantastic. All right. And uh, yeah, what effects are you trying? So you're trying to lure it out of the house, correct? Correct. All right. So, and this is by like flashing like devices around your house and kind of like strobing it out. Strobing and Will's kind of watching in the in the corner um, as it's strobing and flashing and giving this illusion of, hey, someone's trying to tr try, try to, Will's trying to leave. That's kind of what he's. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so this thing comes stumbling towards you, Pogo sticking very angrily, uh, and as it does and you start those effects, it just freezes in place and then topples over. <coughs> and it just looks like a pile of fence posts now. Will defeat it. <laughs> All right. Yes. And uh, that is your turn? That is my turn. Fantastic. All right, next up, Noel. Okay. Well, you can you can sense that you picked up some woodpeckers and they're like they're beelining it towards you. It feels like they're getting close, but they're still not there quite yet. That's fine, because there's one big downside to fences, and you need ground to build them on. Noel, I wanna spend a, a fragment. Noel is going to um unleash her wings and Ooh, okay because uh, the window's open so uh -huh. she's gonna um yeah so she takes a deep breath and her eyes sort of turn black like a like a bird's you know just like that flat black for a moment and then um like sprouting i think it's very visceral too it's like not pretty to watch it's like pretty gross and graphic but wings like sprout and grow out of her back and they're lots of uh, crunching yeah they're like the same color as her sash it's like a reddish black uh and she's gonna fly out the window <laughs> okay fantastic yeah flying out the window i mean you see this thing angrily uh hop towards you uh and it kind of stands there as if it's watching you fly away I'm, uh, yeah, and I don't want to fly way away because I do want to watch my woodpeckers go to town on this thing. So I'm just going to, like, fly out the window and then just kind of, like, hang in the stare air. Stare at it as it's wave. staring at you. Yeah, just, the... like, wave at it haughtily. It starts to mess with your stuff. <laughs> Probably, but whatever. Oh, you're at the window, stuff. are you? <laughs> nice right, television. Andrew, you're up. <laughs> um, oh, look, I've got a very easy turn. I do no. I'm, I'm not going to risk, a, I think, a fighting and deception roll because if I fail it, 
uh, they they get bonuses. So I'm not going to try and like faint or do anything weird. I have a mm -hmm. big axe and I have a large piece of wood, and so uh -huh. so I'm going to just I'm just going to axe this baby right in the face. I love it. Yeah, uh, uh, actually, so this thing is susceptible to chopping. So go ahead and add four to your dice or four dice to your roll. Four dice. Okay, I'm also. I'm also a specialty is an extra die, an extra plus one, if something matches your specialties. Yep. I have a specialty specifically about breaking through barricades. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'd like what to is use a fence that too. But a barricade. <laughs> yeah, it's just a big wooden piece of wood. Like this is what I do with an axe. Yeah. Uh, so it. that's I think fighting speed. So that's one, two, three, four plus my specialty, another four. So I'll roll eight dice and I'll chop this guy right up with a big yep. old axe any pantheon dice do i need them i'm rolling eight i got five successes on four what's eight gonna do that's true uh, i don't think i'll use any pantheon dice i think eight is fine we can save them for people who have a lower base roll that is a lot of successes. that, that is a see. lot of successes i see Jeez. one two three four five six seven successes and i would yeah, also like to note that i took the heavy option so its defense is reduced by one when it's rolling to defend uh, that's like good because they don't success. have any anyways yeah so. great they do have armor which is ignored by chopping so why don't you go right. ahead and tell me how you chop this thing to bits it's just that perfect have you does anyone here i know it's a big australian thing does anyone here watch the wood chop do you ever, do you ever like go and see the wood chop events at like local county fairs do yeah the i've wood seen chop some wood chop stuff yeah it's just brutal. It's just <laughs> boom right through the middle. Pulls out a bunch of wood comes with it. Second chop, like boom. vertical. <laughs> yeah, it it falls and he does the classic wood chop thing. He's now standing on top of it, one leg and its side cuts straight down. Bah, bah. You can hear Fantastic. that thunk, and it's gone. It's presumably harder to cut through the normal piece of wood because it's a mystical piece of wood, but not that hard. Uh, so a few chops in, and it's just, it's gone. Uh, Fantastic. I love that. <laughs> Andrew drops the axe. Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> All right, and we'll pan away from Andrew. What kind of a goblin was that? <laughs> All right, we'll go back to these guys. So, uh, Noel, uh, you're staring at this thing. It's staring at you. You can hear the woodpeckers flapping off in the distance. But for now... This thing's going to just start trashing your room. It's going to start smashing things. It's going to start scraping up the wall. And this is actually going to take one of your wealth away as some necessities are going to have to be replaced. <laughs> <That will do. laughs> All right. Not like a permanent wealth, like from your wealth stat, but it is going to like as if you had spent one wealth. Taken some wealth yeah. damage. And then, uh, Will, uh, are, like you distracted this thing and you're running or what, what are you doing after this thing drops well it just dropped and collapsed yep i was again i'm i'm just kind of hiding is what he's what i'm doing more than than running <laughs> you like peeking from the door then and like just kind of uh, yeah like gonna... it, did it get it is it dead That's... fantastic yeah so you're watching it for a bit and it's just a pile of fence posts but then some unknown figure somewhere is going to spend a fragment to resist a manifestation, and this thing's going to ready and stand back up. And that's going to be its turn. Oh. So, Will, okay. you're up. Then this time I do run out of my house. <laughs> okay, so you flee. I flee. Hopefully I can stay ahead of it. Do I get a sense of how fast this thing moves? Pretty pretty slow. Like it's, it's faster than you would expect, but it's not, like, crazy fast. Okay. Are you like, are you closing the door on your way out as well? Closing the door and just kind of running out. Will has a little bit of a plan if it follows him. Um, and that's what he'll do. For, I, I don't know if that takes my whole turn or not, but. Yeah, no, you're good. And you get out safely, but you're also going to have some trashed stuff and it's going to do a wealth to you as well. Oh, my knitting. <laughs> I would work so long on that. All right, Noel, at the start of your turn, the woodpeckers go swarming in there at your command. Now, each one of these woodpeckers gets to roll two dice. It's also going to... I'm going to apply this to its susceptible chopping weakness because this feels applicable. So I'm going to let you roll four additional for each one. And there's four of them is what your D4 was for. So why don't you roll me like 16 D10s? 
Oh, wow. Okay. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Did I type that in right? No, that needs to be a six. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? Successes. The funny thing is you actually barely got more than Andrew. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. It's fantastic. Yeah, the last time Those I rolled eight, tracks. I, I mean, they're successes. little woodpeckers versus yeah. a huge fire axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you go ahead and tell me how these things just destroy this? Um, well... Her apartment's already trashed, and now the birds are probably not going to help make it any cleaner. But, uh, yeah, they just go in and, um, like, latch onto it and just start pecking. And when, when you know, one of its arms swipes, they just, they flutter away and circle back. And, yeah, there you go, the Tempest. Sorry, someone <laughs> in the chat is talking about doing the Tempest. So I figure we can just, for the rest of this, just read through the Tempest. You just have it ready to go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's all. Uh, all right. and I want to, I'm trying to remember, Chase, did he, did the God of Fences tell me where he was located, roughly? Right in the he just middle. Said well, he did roughly. He said he's right in the he, middle of all of our pantheons. Yeah. in the middle. I think he got coordinates, but yeah, he said he's in the middle of all of your locations. Okay. I'm going to start flying. Uh, suppose over, yeah, hmm. I, I'm just going to start flying. I'm going to see if maybe he's anywhere nearby. Uh, just as I'm like soaring through the skies for a little bit. Excellent. All right. Yeah, we'll be out of combat out of initiative. So we'll just kind of go uh, open free play here now again. As you're flying around, uh, like you're just flying around the immediate area. Yeah, maybe like a few blocks in either direction. I fly twice my speed uh, with my speed. wings, so cool. I'm pretty quick. Uh, why don't you roll me a perception plus... I'm going to do athletics here because you're flying around, so we'll see like how efficient you are at covering an area while you're flying. Okay, that perception and athletics. Yeah. Unless you want to... Don't you have high travel? Can't you make an excuse for travel? Um... My travel is the same as my athletics. I have good athletics, okay. too. So we're all good. Um, One, two, three. I'm going to use one of our Pantheon dice to bump that five up to another success. So four successes. Four successes. OK, uh, yeah, as you're flying around covering some area, um, you don't see him anywhere nearby though you do spot a, a house as you're flying around and you see that this house oddly has a very large fence around it very ornate very pretty and then it also has two other like layers of fences there's like triple layered fences around a house which kind of stands out especially from a bird's eye yeah okay um i'm up anyway can I just can continue my flight to uh, where uh, yeah. Will Will lives? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Once what I get you, there, I what think are my... you two doing, uh, Will and and uh, Andrew? I'm did... I'm calling my friends. Did that? Well, I did this thing stop? It's is it still rampaging in my room? Uh, you heard it crashing for a while when you ran out of the house, and then you heard silence. Um. Oh boy. So, yeah, so Will will go back in, but I, if he lost wealth, what, Will is not a man of wealth, so he probably lost, and this will just, this is what it's going to have to be. He lost, or the thing trashed some of the letters from his pen pal. Ooh. And again, it gives you some backstory here. The pen pal, they wrote many, many years, but he's lost con connection with this pen pal. And these are his most valuable things. And uh, not the whole collection, but enough that Will is not answering the phone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. He's just... Well, you, that, get a, you get a I call knew that Noel Andrew. wouldn't answer the phone. That didn't. That doesn't surprise me at all, I'm well, assuming. No, actually, right now she probably would because oh, this good. thing happened and she knows that she forgot to tell them. And so she imagines that's maybe why you're calling. Uh, 
so yeah she does answer but i will say the sound is horrible andrew because it's just it's oh. a ton of wind it's like as if you're holding it like outside the <laughs> exactly moving car. And she like shouts into it you, what what are you doing are you alive yes i'm alive i got attacked by some kind of strange wood creature yeah it's like a stupid fence post thing i forgot to tell you the fence god is like not our friend and um, I'm going to go make sure Will is okay, and then I'll probably go murder the fence god. He's Are not answering in? his phone. If you can get to Will quickly, I am I know you can move quick. Go to Will. I don't know if he's all right. Yeah, do you think I'm just flying around in the air for fun? Okay, I mean, see I you later. Not. All right. Thanks, Ev. <laughs> the, the god of fences? Would I know? The, is there a chance I know the god of fences? Like, I don't uh, know nobody. Do yeah, let's see like, here. Bloody, uh, what was his name? Francis. Francis! Uh, Not again! Go ahead and roll me a knowledge plus influence, and we'll see if you know the god of fences. Knowledge and influence, which is knowledge of one, influence of two, it's only three dice. I wouldn't waste any pantheon dice on knowing whether someone exists. Let's go <laughs> three dice. Badum -badam. Luckily, I got no successes. Yeah, I, I never heard of this guy ever. God of fences. <laughs> what a ridiculous dominion. All right, yeah, Noel, you fly over to Will's house. And Will, are you like outside of your home at the moment? Uh, Will is, he's in his room and he is kneeling over his, uh, over the torn parchment. Just, it's like a, like, you know, like a child with like, they, they have like they have a dead animal, but, you know, like their cat died or something. It's like, he's just kneeling over that. And yeah, I imagine... Noel just like coming into the house and seeing him in this like totally distraught state. Yeah. And the no. fence posts are now just inanimate and on the ground and it does not look like they're picking back up this time. Noel yeah. will knock first, unless the door is just open. I don't know how wrecked your place is, but it's just open. It's yeah. Okay. It's... Then, yeah. She'll come running in and uh, take in the scene. Will are you hurt? No response. She'll walk over to see what it is he's knelt over. Immediately yeah. you can see that Will does have like a little bit of blood trickling down his forehead. Doesn't if look he, like anything serious, but he's definitely got conked on the head. He'll look up in your eyes and you see like one is like pupil and like bigger than the other, like dilated, like all funny. It's like, <laughs> and you it's laugh funny. and you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um so <clears throat> did i i assume a weird fence post thing was in here yeah so that was like a thing from the god of fences who i guess is basically our sworn enemy now um <laughs> i can't get there looking at you chase <laughs> Because he uh, is like right in the middle of our territory and said that we shouldn't make a pantheon. And I told him where he could shove his fence posts and he didn't like that. And so now I guess this is what he did. And I'm sorry that I didn't say anything. Will is having a hard time processing this. He looks at you with a very disappointed look. Like, you know when your grandparent looks at you with a disappointed look? It's, it's I've never of... disappointed my grandparents ever, yeah, my not grandparents. a single time. <laughs> my grandparents are all dead, so I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> this got dark real fast. the look he gives you. Um, I truly. can imagine it. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, he says, <clears throat> well, let me get my coat on. And he's going to, uh, it, it, it's payback time. <laughs> Do you leave the box when you get up to get your coat on? He, he, he gathers it up um, and puts it in, like, there's like a broken dress or a drawer or something. He just... Puts it in, like, close it, but it's still, like, all broken and things, but it's secured in his mind in this place. What are those papers? <clears throat> mm. 
they're they're from a friend. They're sentimental. And the fence post like messed him up or whatever. <clears throat> if we could find the origin of this fence post, it it's gonna have a few words. Um, yeah, I think I found the house because it had, like, three really ugly fences around it, and no normal boring person does that, so this is probably Francis's house, um, but I wanted to make sure that you were, like, okay and stuff, because I kind of care if you're, like, alive and stuff, so anyway. Let's call Andrew and deal with this. Noel, that means a lot to me. You, uh, you'll make a great Pantheon partner. Let's call Andrew. <clears throat> is does, your head okay? Do you want me to start? do that or are you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Andrew, ring, ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andrew. Let's is that you? Sh Andrew? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Well, okay. sort of. I mean, it's, we're I'm fine. I'm kind of getting an echo. Uh, Noel, will you go in the other room? <laughs> Noel okay. will walk that's, outside. That's better. That's better. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, you, you're all right. Noel got to you. So I'm assuming you got attacked by a piece of fence or something. Yeah, it's the fence god here. I found his house. She's going to drop a pin to you, Andrew. Ooh, all right. I'll see you there. Don't do anything rash. We need to have words with this man, but if we can avoid a long-term war... Do I, I get him on can. the call? I could get him on the call rather easily, if that's what you'd like. That's interesting. Do you want to get him on the call for a second? I, have I would to say rather, to this like, eat his face. Um... Maybe Will will do it in person. <laughs> the Will's a lot more intimidating in person than she is over the phone. And over the phone, she sounds like a bored 14-year-old, but in person, she seems like an angry monster. That is true. It, it is true. I didn't even think of that. Will can probably summon up phone numbers. <laughs> yeah. And I, it's, Let's thank just you, Will. meet at the house. Let's get to the house. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Andrew, you hang up, and uh, you see a text message uh, bling on your phone as soon as you hang up. And it's a text from Mary Quinn, and it says, Hi, Andrew. Time to return the favor. Please contact me as soon as you wake up. What time is it? It's like 3 a.m. Great. I can ignore this for three hours. Let's go and get the... <laughs> let's go and get the... Get... No Why one's going to be Why is she texting you at 3 a.m.? She's a writer. She has a weird schedule. She probably woke up at... She probably hasn't I'm gone a, to bed I'm yet. I'm a writer. <laughs> Yeah, and if you were up at 3 a.m. writing, you'd have a book I of were, prize as that's, well. You know, okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are meeting at uh, his house, correct? Yes. Can yeah. I can I use some of my experience points right now? Sure. Can I use... I've got nine experience points floating around in my life. Uh -huh. um, could I uh, use... I believe it's seven of them. I can double check. Uh, for a second here. Uh, do -do 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 -do, experience points. Uh, seven. Relic. Can I make this axe my new level one relic? Love it. Can I add this to my character sheet? So far, yeah. level one relic basically just means it's a weapon. There's nothing special about it yet. Yep. But uh, I'm going to throw seven down and I'm going to make this. That axe is going to become special. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Very cool. All right. So here's Francis's house on the map. Also, that uh, mustachioed gentleman I had on the screen earlier was Francis, for those people who missed the last episode. Uh, so yeah, you guys gather in front of his house. Very big, sturdy, solid, ornate fence surrounding it. It's a stone fence surrounding his house. And, you know, Noel, you saw from above, there's a couple other layers of, like, normal fences on the other side. He's got a gate uh, with, a, with a little ringer on the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some recon before we go in there. Like uh nice. try some manifestations here. Yeah. I got sure. a area sense which 
Um, maybe this would allow me to see uh, if is this guy home, and what's maybe the layout. Oh, this. like his home security system. Right? Yeah. Something like that. Where Do I you have like get... a smart doorbell or something? It looks like he's pretty decked out in tech. Like you can see there's cameras out front. There's like a ringer on the front fence. So, I mean, it's likely he's got some tech. So I'm going to like reverse his security and kind of like peer in to his estate. Maybe that give us some benefits there. So I'm going to roll intuition plus Oracle. You got and, it. Uh, so just for the viewers at home, when I use Oracle, I have my trusty <laughs> ear horn. That's my that's my magical item. And it gives me a plus two on Oracle. So I'm going to roll um, eight dice here. Very nice. Two successes should be enough for what you're wanting to do here. Okay. Or two successes, I should say. Two successes with D10s. Make sure we're rolling the D10s. And it looks like I've got one, two, three successes. Yeah. You tap into this guy's security. It's pretty uh, pretty in depth. I mean, like, yeah. what do you have like vision of like kind of like a security camera? You see like all the different areas or? Yeah, I'm just like going from one camera to the next and kind of fantastic kind of that out. And... Yeah, you can see he's got in-home cameras and it looks like he's got a living area. And you can currently see him sitting on his couch just uh, uh, leg crossed over, sipping on a cup of coffee, looking pretty relaxed. Since I, uh, one of my truths is I read minds. Um, excuse me, I can speak with others using my mind. Uh -huh. is, this is information I'm going to pass on to my compatriots here. And just Fantastic. like, let them tap into this too. Well, doesn't he look smug? Yeah, let's murder him. Yeah, this look. Come on, Andrew, know, just be no, listen, cool for I just once have in one your life. thing I'd like to say to this man because either we'll have to fight him or he can learn his bloody place. All right, so let me Fine. Ned, Will, Will, can you talk? To, can you get this guy out here? Can you send him a message? Or should we do it ourselves? And I look at my axe and I look at the gates of this big old stone wall. I was nodding at it profusely. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to have a swing. I want to try and hit the center of this gate with an axe. Okay. I'm yeah. a, he is the god of fences. It's probably a pretty strong fence. Uh-huh. But let's see what I can do here. I'm Go ahead and roll start... me a fight plus might. No, 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 not yet. Oh, not yet. I'm starting with a manifestation. Okay. I'm going to use my... Uh, my... Uh, Ruin and knowledge. I'm oh, no, sorry, ruin and might to use the warrior power. I would like to uh, actually. There's a guy. Uh, who's that? Guy? There's an Australian dude who is. Yeah, David Foster. Anyone know you, David Foster? David you digging Foster. into chopping champions. David Foster. I knew about this guy already. Uh, he is. The Australian world champion woodchop, and he was the world woodchopping champion for 21 years. Uh, never defeated. He is phenomenal. Uh, he just looks like I don't know if you can, if it's possible at any point to get a shot of David Foster on the screen. Uh, his Wikipedia page has him holding a gigantic saw, and he's just a big, fat, bald, moustached Australian man. Uh, I'm tapping into the power. David Foster. I love it. As good a wood chopper as could ever be. So I'm gonna roll some dice. And this is uh, a warrior, I imagine. Sorry. What, real, this is wow. warrior you're using. Yep. While this is happening, uh Will is gonna not he's gonna stay off the security cameras and he's gonna slink slink slink, slink away. Okay. Nice. Alright, so I'm starting with these five D tens. Just for the uh -huh. month. You got it. That gets me two successes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use those two successes mm -hmm. to, on my manifest, uh, it's basically, I'm allowing it to be instant pretty much because it's just for this one swing. Oh, Andrew, you also have plus one to your manifest because you are in the territory of Mary <gasps> Quinn right now. 
Does that one extra success or one extra die? One extra dice. All right, we'll roll another dice. That's another success. So that's three successes. Three successes. Nice. I'm putting them all to the modifier to add six to my might, if I if I may. Yep. Great. So that's the first part. You see me just like the I'm already a bit of a dad bod kind of guy, but the 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 shoulders, the chest, the arm get a bit bigger, the gut gets a bit bigger, the legs get a bit bigger, and I heft this axe over my shoulder. And so with six extra on my might. I am then rolling for, uh, what are we thinking? Might and, uh, I don't know. Do you have another one that you'd like to suggest? Fight, I would imagine. Might and fight? Yeah. Sure. Which is only an extra one, uh, but let's go for it. So I'm, oh, I could do athletics if you prefer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, either one. Fight or, right. yeah, that's might plus three. athletics or fight. So that's uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dice. And I'll definitely use some shards to get some extra successes. All right. Uh, because this is the big swing. Uh, this is so the to, big swing. I can't even click on 11d10. Uh, so is it slash roll? Slash R space 11d10. Mm -hmm. All right. Is anybody still tapped into the footage right now? Uh, Will is definitely hanging on to that footage, yes. Okay. So this is uh, one, two, three... Four, five, six successes. Five is what um, you needed, so no boosts. Don't worry, I'll get there because I'm going to use a fragment uh -huh. to get myself another three successes. Okay. So that's nine successes. Yeah. And how many did I need? You needed five, so that's one boost. No, it's not. Because I would like to use my... Uh, Relic, which is the Nobel Prize for Divinity, which means that I get a boost for every two successes, not three. So I'd like Dang. two boosts, please. All right. Here's some special <laughs> things that you can do with uh, these boosts, because there is some stuff in play. You can, uh, number one, there is a manifestation on this fence. You can chop through that with a boost if you would like. Done. Since you're Done. using the manifestation of your own. Yeah. Uh, number two, you can actually have Francis take damage from this if you would like. I would like Francis to take damage from my, how many successes I got? What was it? Nine successes? Yes. I would like him to also take damage. I'd like to get rid of all the manifestations, but keep that spark right in the center. And that's where I'm swinging right in. I'm making a statement with this single swing. I'm using everything I can. Yeah. So uh, you swing into that thing so hard that it just cleaves right through the stone. There's a bright flash as you do. Uh, those of you who are watching the feed, he winces and spills his coffee on himself and falls off of the couch, uh, looking completely alarmed. And then that whole fence actually just disappears. Beautiful. Um, and now there's just like a couple of pretty normal picketed wooden fences. Uh, you can see the inner fence closest to the house has some uh, <laughs> some posts ripped up. Uh, it uh, looks like the ones that attacked you could match. Familiar. All right. I'd like to. I'd like to quickly put my hands out. I don't think we need to go forward. I think he'll come to us. You you do physically stop Noel when you put yes, your hands out because she was ready to run. Good. Who else? Will is this is gonna, the statement. Will still gonna. He's gonna try sneaking in while you while he comes out. Yeah, you Just, sneak okay. away, Mister Fife. You go and you go into like the back door. I'm gonna yeah, so I, I have the feeds, and so he's coming out or whatever, and Will's like, well, fences are down, and he's gonna sneak in. And uh he's a he is a this is the intent here. Uh Will is a, a letter writer, and he has a sharpie in his happens to have a sharpie, and he's gonna start defacing this guy's house. Nice. Okay, excellent. For the stealth, since you're kind of observing him on the camera as well. Uh, why don't you roll me a stealth plus perception? Oh boy, that's that's something will happens to be kind of good at. So <laughs> stealth three, perception four, so that gives me seven. Um, we uh, we doing we still got nine pantheon bags. Yeah, Chad's um, been showing you guys some love yeah, tonight. Yeah, some... they want this. They want this to happen. So uh, let's take it to. I want to say 
Should, should I roll ten of these things with three Pantheon dice? Is that overkill? No, that's under. Go for it. We once had okay. somebody roll a hundred dice on the street. That <laughs> oh, yeah. person doesn't need to be named right now. <laughs> All right, remind me how the the, the code for ten dice is backslash slash r space ten d ten. Yes, a hundred dice. Go check out our our YouTube shorts. We have a clip of it. <laughs> oh, did I? I'm gonna just roll eight and then two more. I like it. That'll work. All right, all right. Here they are. Here they are. We've got Ooh, one, is. two, two. Wow, it's not very many. <laughs> not very stealthy. Um. Did you say I got but, anything for the uh, Luckily, though, two is exactly what you needed because oh, he only got one. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So uh, you see on the camera feed, he falls off the couch. He's burned by coffee. Uh, and then he stands up. He looks pretty pissed off, shoulders tight. And you can see he's wearing like still like his little sweater vest with the undershirt. He's going to straighten up his clothes. He's going to brush his hair back and kind of compose himself. And then he's going to go walking towards the door. Uh, he's going to open the front door. Will, you're slipping in behind him, I imagine, into the house. Definitely, and, uh, yeah. yeah he'll come out. walking out. He's got a big smile as he looks at Andrew and Noel. <laughs> well, howdy, neighbors. And uh, with that, and with Nathan, uh, with Will sneaking in the back, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a quick 10 to 15 minute break. So... Um, everybody stick around. We're going to go recharge really quick, and then we'll be back at approximately 920 Mountain Time. So we'll see you guys in just a few. All right. Welcome back, fellow geeks, to Part-Time Gods. Thanks for hanging around, letting us take a quick break. We are now feeling refreshed and ready for Turf War. <laughs> I think so, the break made me sleepier. Yeah. I'm more relaxed and chill. Is that, is, that, is that tea you got there? Is it coffee? No, nice cup of tea. A little is bit of it chamomile tea. or is it daisy tea? No, it's no, it's just tea. <laughs> <laughs> How just dare tea. you? <laughs> Fantastic. So welcome back, everybody. All right. When we last left off, uh, Andrew had just, with the might of a god, literally beat down a god's fence. And Will is sneaking in right behind his back to go vandalize his house. And Noel is very angry. And that's where we're at. So, uh, Francis, here, here. It feels important to uh, put his art up again for just a moment. Yes, Please. let it fuel my rage. Look, look what a friendly guy this is. <laughs> uh, he has a very punchable face. <laughs> he just walks up on his porch. Oh, howdy, neighbors. Now, what can I do helping all of you so late in the middle of the night, huh? Francis! I'm assuming you told me his name. Francis! Oh, Let's see. Andrew, is it? Yes, it's Andrew. Nice to meet you face to face, Andrew. Yeah, it's good to see your face as opposed to the little creatures you sent after us, like a coward. Little creatures? Now, what yes. are you talking about, little creatures? Okay, let's all play dumb. Listen here, Francis. We don't care about you at all. We oh. have bigger fish to fry. If you haven't been paying attention, someone is going around eating gods, killing them. And you, what you're worried about territory. What the hell are you the god of again? Oh, shoot. Francis. Well, I'm the god of fences. And... Exactly, Francis. So there's only two options. Either you are so weak that we do not need to worry about you and we will break down your fences like we've done tonight every night until you go back into your home and you leave us alone or maybe just maybe you're strong enough that we need to worry about you in which case you are strong enough to build a big fucking fence and hide behind it what do you care about territory francis there's only two ways this goes and neither of them involves us having to look at you again so why don't you just calm down get back into your little house Keep your territory to yourself. We don't want it. And leave us alone because we have real important things to deal with. Why don't you roll me an influence plus might? 
Is there a benefit for the fact that I just destroyed his fence and he's- Oh yeah, fences? it's it's gonna lower the number of successes you need. All right. Uh, influence and might, right? Yep, you can still keep ten. your might from your warrior as well. Oh great, then I've got 10 dice. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine uh, you still look big and scary. Let's go for it. Uh, slash. Ooh, hey, successes. That was a total of Woo! one, was... two, three, four successes. Four successes. And because this is still something that I care about, actually, give me seven. And I'll use my seven? final fragment of the day. Okay. All right. Seven successes. He, just, uh... Just, just, like, just get out of here, you freak. He, he keeps his uh, smile on and uh, <clears throat> kind of clears his throat. Looks around and sips his coffee. You, uh, you take down my fence? Yes, and it wasn't even a worry. I didn't even use any of my godly might, let alone all of it. Yeah. And, uh, you, you, you tell on me there, Noel? You go and, uh, you go and, we call that Talon where I come from. Noel opens her mouth and instead of like a scream, an actual like hawk screech comes out like you hear when they are like coming down to dive bomb i'm leaning into my curse here chase of um animal mind and i would <laughs> like to i would like to add a pantheon dice when i revert to animal behavior <laughs> yeah please do production we got we got a pantheon dice and and andrew you feel like you're maybe glad that you summoned this warrior might. Yeah, so, like you feel Noel worse. is like, but you are actively having to push her back. She uh, he wants to tear the back a little off. bit at the uh, at the scream and spills a little bit more coffee on him. You're gonna wanna listen. You're gonna wanna take a more respectful tone with me because uh, you, you're gonna. I'm part of the crafting club. Um, you, you don't want to be on their bad side. But I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can work something out, right, neighbors? Can I murder I'm him sure yet? We can. Hold on. Soon, maybe. Let's see how this plays out. We don't need to work anything out with you. We have it worked out. Our territory is where it is, and if you don't like being between us, you can move. And if you don't, we don't. But we don't care about you. So stay where you are. We're not going to worry about a man who can build a fence. Build a big one, stay behind it, live I mean, your I, life. I made golems. Oh, you made little golems. And how did that go? I mean, I, I got... Hey, where's Will? I got him pretty good. Oh, I didn't kill him, did I? You can't kill him. Someone you can, wouldn't be but not talking you. if you'd killed him. Yeah. I. You would be impaled and shredded. On my talons. Hey, right. the only thing that has kept you we alive so far is your own so failure. Violent. All right. No, we don't. So don't be violent with us. All right. Well, I was kind of. I mean, I, yeah, this is a bit more intense than I intended it to be. I was just kind of hoping you'd scooch on off when I talked to you. Uh, you're not looking for another Pantheon member, are you? No. No, actually, we're not. And you wouldn't be interested in just moving a little bit? No, no, actually, we wouldn't. All right, listen, I'll sleep on it. Yeah, everybody can just stay calm and I'll sleep on it. No, no, actually, you won't. You'll give us an answer. Uh, all right, we got, we've got no problems here, neighbors. All right, it was just a bit of fun. Just a bit of new in the neighborhood hazing, you know? Yeah, I'm sure you've done that before, right? You, you can seem like the type no. to have a good sense of humor. No, actually, we don't. Okay, then. Well, uh, I'll get out of your hair. You go ahead and, uh, you know, it's all just a just a big, silly joke. I'm going to be putting up another fence in a minute. I suggest you stand back. I wouldn't want to get you on the chin there. But he's, like, slowly backing into the door again. All right. Yes, well, the wild. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? I'm, I'm so worried that we're going to end this conversation in a place yeah, before you put up another fence and trap Will in. Let's talk about what he's been doing. Yep, let's uh, go ahead. 
So he's doing two things. One is he has uh, he's writing messages uh, around the walls, but he's also he's like again naturally just going through this guy's like browser history and just kind of like looking at his stuff. And so Hot if I Italian like, fences. Yeah, just kind of. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but he's he's I, I unintentionally getting dirt on this guy. I guess is what I'd like. And then my notes are going to reflect that knowledge. That say, hey, that wasn't very nice. Please don't come back. Uh, you're not very friendly. Stuff like that. Tries to use yeah, a few. Yeah, real. Like, back. Cut him deep. Yeah, but real. Yeah, get him, Will. Deep. Get him. <laughs> he uses like, uh, he's like, draws the uh, angry emoji. Stuff like that. Um but I do what if, if I need a roll for it, I would like to like just kind of have future insurance on this guy. Excellent. And you're you're snooping around, right? Snooping. Yeah. Go ahead and roll me roll me a perception. Uh plus roll me perception plus oracle. We'll see if you can grab some of like the communication around here. Oh, so Oracle. Well, let me tap into this stuff here. Um and this doesn't have to be like a full-blown manifestation. We'll just kind of just be like your natural sense of the devices around you. Well, it still gives me, uh, it's going to give me nine dice. Absolutely great. Uh, here goes. There's eight of them. And then here's the ninth. Okay. All right. We've got one, two, three successes three successes excellent yeah as you're snooping around and kind of trashing his house uh this is some of the general stuff that you gather uh number one he's been mapping out your territory you can see he's got it on the map he's been doing a bunch of digging on all of you uh he does have a lot of books and stuff on fences he's very into fences um also you can gather from like his computer and his devices around he is on a group chat of people it looks like i mean you know will can gather stuff pretty quickly right being the god of the wireless communication uh, you can see chat histories with the god of welding the god of woodworking the god of swings uh they're like in this nice little group chat together they call themselves the crafters guild they've been working on intimidation tactics together and they've been practicing like how to swear at people how to seem tough and how to run people out of their town because they don't <laughs> want to form a pantheon. None of them want to form a pantheon together, but they also don't want people. They just want to be alone. They want their own spaces. And it's been a whole thing they've been working on together. So yeah, Will gathers all this. Um, if it's possible to delete information about us, great. Um, oh yeah, easy. Add to that. But he feels like this guy's just a little lonely being shut away in his fences and some of his notes reflect that and just says i'm sorry that you're so lonely i understand just just day and he like gives like you know his favorite chest uh set park if you need to talk it's all right and stuff goes like from that. vandalism to pity midway <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly and it's an impeccable handwriting by the way like everything is like scrolled very 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 beautifully on all the walls like the alignment's great perfect uh, uh vandalism fantastic and, yeah. and then he right. hobbles out and yeah okay so you like you slip out behind them again as he's kind of backing back into the house and gives that wink to the uh the old team there really oh hey hey well just so you know we uh we worked it out no violence needed here see your friends are everyone's calm so uh Watch yourself on the way out, and if you need anything, you just, you know, where to find me, right? We'll give him a hug. Just what? if he's on, he's like, I understand. He he's kind of jumps and looks nervous as you approach. Yeah, yep, yeah, they're there, neighbor. Okay, so I'll be chatting at you all later. Uh, good luck on your audition, Miss Noel. Before he forms this magic fence, Noel is going to, like, gently lower Andrew's arm and like look at him like I'm like I'm okay I'm like I'm in control yeah, but right. she's gonna march forward toward him 
Because there's like another fence, another couple fences, right? Yeah, um, this guy's yeah. Freak. He's, He's a just going to walk up and I want to tear a chunk off his fence and eat it. <laughs> a chunk off of his fence and eat it? Yes. <laughs> hey, no, I careful with that. Uh, okay. You're she's, welcome. She's going to chew the wood with her mouth open and just let the splinters fly out and she's going to swallow it the whole time staring right at this guy, not flinching at all as the splinters slide down her throat. And then she's going to lick her lips, turn around and march away. Fantastic. He looks at you just terrified and just backs into his house very quickly, slams the door. Uh, big old fence manifest shortly after as you guys are backing away. Uh, no, for the next scene, you have minor control over the fence dominion. It was a magic <laughs> fence? I just yeah. thought it was a normal fence. Oh, oh cool. no, they're all magic fences. Love it. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right. You guys are now outside, fence restored. Where do you guys go from here? I'd like to posit a worry. Which is, I'm assuming all of that may have probably taken up. That's a scene. That's a bit. That's a free that time. That was a fence, free time, yes. Which puts me at negative one. I don't know what happens to me. Oh, uh, I, I, I die? No, I no, die? you're good. Because you're gonna you're gonna trigger some. Time. You're triggering some things to deal with. Yeah. Well, just let in, let you know I'm at six out of five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I should probably go. I should. I, I, if the sun's coming up, I need to get to work. Yeah, it is nearing the end of the night. And I don't know what it's to do about one. about my friend uh, who's already in a strained relationship and I and need and I have no free time to deal with that. So I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing good at being a god and bad at being a person. And that's the nature of this game. All right, yeah. So uh Noel, Will, are you guys heading back home or what's your plans? Um Great question. Um, Could we Willis... review? Sorry, Nathan, I, I just interrupted you. I was just wondering if maybe as a group we could review what yeah. we have to do. Like, what are what's on our to do list? I guess just we the have pantheon a... ritual. There's a pantheon ritual. There's a meeting with uh, between the goblin strategist and uh, probably speed demon. Um, oh, I've renamed right. her speed demon. Um, and so I'm assuming we would lead, we would at least want one of us to be there for that because uh, our our interests should be served in this meeting. Uh, those are the two big things because it looks like the strategy meeting would lead to the next steps against the the god of atheism, and the pantheon would lead us to finally be a pantheon. Um, but those seem to be the two big big ones that we need to deal with. Okay, Andrew's not going to be useful to us for. Uh a minute so yeah i've got no time <laughs> what were you thinking nathan what were you going to say for will will is feeling pretty bad about not finishing the pantheon and uh he's he, it's his intent to go finish that up um he's kind of like the pantheon's on a high right now he's like oh well i better lock this in okay <laughs> let's let's get this in paper and so that'll be my next I, there's just, I, I guess, magic some ritual. Is it, I, I had one more free time I had to spend to finish that thing off, so um, that's what I'm going to go do. Uh, happy to go to that meeting as well if, if, if I can support support there. So. Yeah, what's Nala going to do while Andrew's at work and Will is finishing the Pantheon ritual? The meeting... Uh was for you guys to schedule. Drav wanted you guys to set it up. Okay. <clears throat> I am only down to one free time, so I may go spend time at the... I think I'll go to the bird sanctuary. It's been a minute since I was there. Noelle is feeling extremely stressed out and angry and so the last thing she wants to do is deal with more people in any way shape or form so she's going to go to the sanctuary and deal with her birds excellent which is going to work for you as well correct 
No, I don't work there. No? It's just a oh, bond. Oh, resting. That's your resting thing. Right. Love it. Yeah, because you did get quite beat. <laughs> do, do bonds heal damage? Landmark bonds do. Oh, landmark bonds. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Excellent. That's not even what I was intending, but that's great. Fantastic. All right. So you're going to go spend time with the birds. Uh, all right. Let's start with Andrew here. So, you know, sun comes up. It was a pretty bumpy night. Uh, Andrew, are you texting your friend before work? Uh, if I can, I would I would very much like to. Excellent. Yeah. But I do need to get to work. So it may be a text that is just like, hey, how you going? Hope nothing's wrong. And if she follows up, like, can we meet? I'll be like, no. No, Excellent. actually, we can't. Yeah, I'll so she's actually, going. she's going to text in all caps, don't go to work. And then normal caps, I got you the day off. Come by my place. Now, do, do, do I have the day off? Do I have some free time? I don't know, because you're going to work, gets you free time back. I don't Spending know time with Bonds also gives you free time back. Sweet, then let's Just go and well. chill with MQ. Fantastic. All right. Uh, yeah, Coming so you over. should go to her house. Thank she's you. Got a, she's got a pretty nice house, right? She's a yeah, award winner. She's, she's pretty nice well. place. I'm going to turn yeah. a book into a three-part miniseries. Yeah, she opens up the door. You know, she gives you a hug. Andrew, so nice to see you. Mary, Mary, how you going? Listen, I am on crunch time for something that I'm working on, and mm. I need to interview you about your work. It ain't. That sounds great. I'm I'm happy to sit and, and talk. Any... I've got some deadlines to meet, so come sit down. I already called right, the station. Cool. They're good with it. But uh, something that I was hoping to ask you as well, uh, yes. would I possibly be able to shadow you at your job for a little while? Oh, I mean, look. I'm doing a piece on course. local heroes. and you're the Oh, first well, then you I probably thought. want to shadow somebody else, I think. But uh, if, if you want <laughs> you're to pull too humble. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that would be great. Look, I, to, I'm I'm sure he can only to an extent, of course. Like I don't want to put you in any danger. If if there's something on fire, you'll be. Oh, I'm not going to go back, chasing obviously. you into a burning building. Yo, I, 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 well, you're a very precocious person. <laughs> I thought maybe you might. So yeah. if you're happy with that, then sure. Yeah, of, of course you can. You can you can tag along. Excellent. Well, let's get this interview out of the way with then, and then just if you could just text me your schedule, just so. Hey, I'm yeah, aware. right. Of course. Really appreciate it, Andrew. Thank you. Fantastic. And yeah, she'll just, she's going to give you like a pretty basic interview. She's going to ask you some questions about your most dangerous moments, about the most memorable people that you've helped and just a whole bunch of questions like that. Um, and yeah, so for a dedicated bond scene that I believe is going to give you back their level times two in free time. And if she has a strain, it will heal one. Nice. Uh, I got a. Uh, she heals her strain. I'll check how much free time I get because I have one thing that I don't know if it, if it come, if it applies. I think it doesn't, but I'll just double check. So I'm assuming I get two free time. That puts me back to four out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh yeah, I'm a busy man. All right. Yes, indeed. All right. Okay, and then uh, Noel, you're just doing a landmark bond. Are you straining it or just resting? I'll just rest. And I'm curious, Chase, if that count does that count as a devoted scene that also returns free time or does that only happen when you hit zero free time and then have have a attachment uh no. into the scene no you can spend a dedicated time there that's totally fine as well okay i can do both yeah uh-huh uh, you can take you can take the strain to heal and then you can heal the strain from the dedicated scene you might as well oh. if it's got no strain to begin with yeah um, let's do that when when this is done, I would like to. Uh, I believe actually I get heaps of free time back. But can I, I'm going to share some wording with everybody, including you in the chat. If you're in the chat, may, help make a ruling on this wording. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure it applies. Uh, by because I'm a phoenix society god, because I hang out with people and I really like people and humans. I have a blessing called linked to humanity, and at the end of this blessing, there's a couple of other bonuses when I'm making a character. But at the end it says, in addition. Uh, they receive a free level two group bond, blah, blah, blah. And all bonds and worshippers act as one level higher than normal for dice pools and effects. 
I'm assuming this is an effect of this their... is definitely an effect. Yeah. So they instead of a level one, she acts as a level two, and so mm -hmm. I get four free time back. Yeah. So I'm actually only at two out of five. I got heaps of time. It's all good. Look Everybody at that. loves me. <laughs> That's a really good ability, dang. Yeah, uh, my bonds. Uh, my word is my bond, and my bonds pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, and uh, Will, now you're uh, just finishing up the ritual. It's pretty close. It's like the type of project where like you were practically there and you just kind of veered off right at the last second anyways. It's a pretty quick finish. Uh, and as soon as you finish the ritual, you know, you had a bunch of notes on some weird ancient incantations you had to speak around different places around the territory. You have a bit of a, a driver, rider, however you get around, uh, just different places of your territory. And as soon as Will finishes this, which this is going to cost the last free time, uh, all of you feel like a palpable difference. No matter mm -hmm. where you're at, no matter what you're doing, uh, you feel like you can just very clearly see each other's faces in your mind's eye. Uh, like you almost feel like you can see what each other is doing for just a brief moment and then it flashes away and you feel a much deeper connection to each other. You can interpret that however your characters would, uh, but it is a palpable bond that you can feel uh, between one another. And that is going to complete you guys being a pantheon. So now you guys are going to share territory bonuses. You can share relics. Uh, all the good stuff, you guys can now do it. So for Will, that just means he can see your deleted texts as well. <laughs> Regular ones. Fantastic. <laughs> all right. And since you guys are all taking care of personal business, uh, we can go ahead and we can just time skip ahead. Probably noon the next day, uh, Alma will send a text to all of you guys that just says, Checking in. When are we meeting with the little goblin? What little goblin are you talking about? Oh, we are having a meeting with a little goblin. You are invited. Wait, the goblin? Yes, that one. <laughs> She'll send back, I'd appreciate more regular check-ins. I'm glad you found him. But damn. Apologies. Had to fight fence god. Noel has left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> she just sends back all question marks to the fence god. Not a problem. He is coward. Now. Moon bucks an hour. Okay. <laughs> Do we know how to contact the goblin? Do we need to tell him moon bucks in an hour? Can a goblin go to a moon bucks? They're pretty good at hiding. Have um, you seen him hide the counter in the moon box? That is true. We might have to order for him. Uh, Will, can you? I'm assuming you have a way to contact Drax and tell him to, oh. to meet us. Yeah, no problem. Okay. I will contact him. Oh, Drab, sorry. He's got a V at the end I, of his I, name. I, I get him on the line right now. Hey, little fella. Yeah, get him on. Little fella, are you there? <laughs> he, he answers, I don't like how you can do that. How do you have my number? He has every number. Number? That could be useful. Anyways, Moonbucks, one hour. Sorry, no, we don't want to be as rude to him as, as Alma is to us. The meeting that we organized, uh, as we just spoke of the other day, is taking place in an hour at, at Moonbucks. Moonbucks. Moonbucks, there's like 30. I'm assuming the one near Zigo Bay. All right. And if not, that's where we'll be. So maybe maybe we'll all be wrong, but I'm pretty Get sure. Get my we'll disguise. Back. You might not recognize me, but I'll be there. All right. We'll be not in disguise, so you will recognize us. He hangs up. Nope, he's uh, gone. I can still hear you. I, I think I need to hang up now. Aye, all that right, is goodbye. true. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. You guys, I imagine, are all going to meet at the Moon Bucks. Sounds uh, fair. So, yeah, we'll fast forward. You guys get there. Why don't we preemptively go ahead and take a free time away from everybody for this ah, upcoming scene? My free time! My free time! <laughs> wow, right. Will's getting low. He's got three. Oof. <laughs> hey, busy, I've got busy three. couple days. No, I've only got two now. And I'm fine. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you guys will walk in. Uh, it's Pretty, it's empty except for uh, you can see Alma is sitting in there sipping at a coffee. Uh, here we'll put Art of Alma up again for those who 
I don't remember what she looks like. Where is this moon bucks? I need to know if I'm. Oh yeah, let's. Uh, that's a good point. The moon bucks kind of... is between Zigo Bay and your bird street sanctuary, so it's gonna be like here ish. Does that count as in my territory? It does. So yeah, so your territory, so the way for anybody watching, these little circles on the territory map, that's where locations are. And the territory affects every square around it. So if you're in a square around your territory, it is a bonus. And if your territory is interlocked. Like one, two, three, four. Yeah, so this one will be right here. So uh, Cairn and the Bird Sanctuary will be uh, in the territory right here. Which means you guys as a pantheon now stack oh. those bonuses. Okay. Oh, so we're like inside that square. I love it. I mm-hmm. arrive at this moon box and I'm just like, ooh, ooh, it feels much better here than it did last time. Mm. Uh, Alma sets her glasses down on the table, and looks over at you. Did you finally sort out your pantheon business? Yes, we did. All thanks to this man right here. Ah! <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, Crystal gives you guys a smile, the, the goddess of customer service. It's just Crystal in here and uh, Alma. Everybody else has cleared out. Noel so gives a little wink to Crystal. <laughs> Crystal blushes and walks away. <laughs> uh, Alma will gesture for you guys to take a seat. She's already ordered your drinks. She has learned that you guys like when you come to Moonbucks. So anything important you need to fill me in on before this goblin shows up? Ooh, um, he's a god yeah yeah he is a god damn it i know it's a very important point we should have t- mentioned it to you but he is a god the god of strategy god of strategy well isn't that just hilarious the goblin no, it's kind puck of... is the god of strategy yeah it's a little bit strange but so i don't know how much you were fully aware of the goblin king's like whole deal but we have a good insight into it now. Um, for those of who are, who are you, but also anyone who might be listening in and typing comments while they watch this conversation, the god, the Goblin King, who, who's been eating everybody, his name is Horatio. I'm not sure where you were on that. His name is Horatio, and he is paradoxically the god of atheism. That doesn't make any sense. That Hence my use of the term paradoxically uh not a a term you get to use properly often but in this case yes he seems to want to kill every god and i and not even like i don't think like make him the final god i think maybe at the end he'll like kill it's like a long-term murder suicide kind of thing because he doesn't want gods to exist but strangely, he then is giving his god powers that he eats sometimes to his crews of, of outsider helpers, which is very strange. This seems to be more uh, intense than just the god of mischief thing that we dealt with earlier, who had some s- small part of their power. This is like a full-blown thing. So that's kind of intense. He does want to kill us all with, with no... Uh, like I don't think we could like talk him out of it. It's kind of his deal, and he's giving powers to outsiders, which is also very scary. Yeah, so that's where is... we're at in terms of information gathering. Deeply unsettling, but that's pretty Aye. helpful. Uh, the door swings open, the bell rings, and uh, you guys see a very tall gentleman in a very long trench coat. Uh, big yellow nose some sunglasses and you hear like mechanical whirring and clanking as he steps in uh clearly you can tell it's drab on some kind of contraption with a trench coat uh alma turns back at him you can drop that damn thing only supernaturals in here uh Drav uh, kind of looks around for himself and then he throws off the disguise and pops off a little mech thing underneath of the trench coat. Uh, reminder of what Drav looks like here for those like who cool missed dude. it. Yeah. Well, this the leader of your little task force thing. It's Alma at knows. least our leader. Alma, this is Drav. Drav, this is Alma. Now, Drav, Alma is the god of speed. And Drav here is the god of strategy. I feel like maybe we should all be open about these things. She uh, looks kind of disgusted with the concept. He holds out a hand to shake her hand. 
and uh, she just ignores it and sits back down. She Alma. gestures for a chair. I don't shake hands with pucks. Sorry. What about with gods, Alma? Yeah, what about with gods, Alma? Yeah, what about with <laughs> gods, Alma? <laughs> Walk up and gesture a hand back up. She'll sigh and she'll shake his hand. Oh. I guess you're looking to help, so... Yeah, and lots of help I'm going to be. More than I'm sure anybody else has given all of you. So, what's the plan for your task force here? What's your goals? Uh, she uh, looks at all of you and then she'll answer. We're going to try to take this guy down. Killing a bunch of gods, it's not okay. And he's got a bunch of your kind running around here causing up mischief. Yeah, well... We like to do that respectfully, but we don't usually cause this much, mis much mischief. He's just making it worse. We have common ground. Hmm. She uh, kind of nods. Uh, and then she's going to kind of look uh, confused and she's going to hold up. She's got like a little Bluetooth earpiece on uh, and she's going to say, yeah, and. All right. Listen. And yes, yeah, sorry. Uh what exactly is being said into her ear word for word because Will does have his, <laughs> his little ear horn out and we'd like that information, please. <laughs> yeah, uh, so Will, you will gather there is a, a male voice on the other line of her Bluetooth saying, Alma, we need you down here right now. Another fight's breaking out. We think it's another attack. Um, <clears throat> so she's going to stand up. Listen, all of you deal with this. I'm needed somewhere, all right? Deal with what? Talking? That's all we were here to do. Oh, I'll, I'll fill you in on the details. Alma, you better get you better get going. You stay out of my devices, Will. He no, he just picks it up from context. He would yeah, never. It's never not spy. worth trying to keep it's it. It's just all context. Listen, anything you got to say to me, Puck, you can say to these guys. They've proven themselves to be trustworthy. Will you all just fill me in a little bit faster next time? Oh, I'm sorry, we're not fast enough for the goddess speed. No, of course we will. Yeah, speaking of, I've got to be somewhere quick. Uh, and there's just like a gust of wind and she's she's gone. My coffee! Well, that was productive. <laughs> well, so glad we met was. with her. I think it was productive, Noel. It, I didn't really do anything and this poor fellow had to come all out of town. To... No, this Listen, is fine. I'm going to be been... real with you. Oh, yes. I don't think I'd want to work with her. But I after I same. slept on it, I feel like all of our interests align, and what better chance do I have? That is true. You're right, Andrew. I don't want to go back to my home plane. No, it's, it's disgusting. Here. People to torment. It's great. Okay, that's not the cold thing I was going for, but all right. Hey, Chase. Yeah. Um, I know last time he seemed uh interesting to me. Like um. Flavor wise, yeah. Flavor wise, uh -huh. has that like waned now that I know he's a god, or yeah. like, yeah, it's like after you slept on it a bit, it's you've you're not as caught off guard anymore. Okay. Well, <clears throat> what's your plans? What can I help with? I have well, some thoughts, but let's hear what you have. How I do you know. plan to kill a god that's going to take your powers away? Well, see, that's the thing. Not very well. I don't know how much we have a plan to deal with that element of it. Because we have the resources. You've seen Alma. You've seen us. Have you seen my beautiful new axe? We we have the people, the, the, the system, but I don't know if we really have the plans. we relic? Been missing. Hey, it's that beautiful. Shit. Okay. I will admit it's not very powerful yet, but it will grow. It will grow as we play the game. Of life. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I don't, so. I don't believe. I, I look at. I look at. Uh, at Will and Noel. I don't think we have set plans of no, how to kill. No My plan, plan basically just starts and ends with eating him. So right. exactly, not so much a plan as we have the tools. We are the tools for you to use your power and strategize with us. Yeah, I, These are, we are resources. Find the guy first, though. I, can Will 
get any more details on what just ha transpired with Alma? Uh, yeah, so uh, you can just gather the details. Like, she's talking. They give her coordinates. He's attacking somewhere down in L.A. And uh, Oh, like, he's not in our territory. Just, not in your territory. L.A. is a bit to the uh, southeast. Um, okay. Yeah, she's heading down to that conflict. Um, she's advising everybody to have caution. Uh, they're saying that it sounds like somebody might have already been killed, but she's headed down there as quick as she can. Maybe we'll make sure to relay this to the group as well and get him covered. She better How stay out of forward. it. Finding him is not going to be the problem. If you want to find him, you can bring him to you easy enough. Aye, we found no, him I right now. If you wanted to find him. I look... don't want to find him until you're ready. Exactly. Oh. I watched him movie recently uh, about a young man who ran up and down stairs and in that process he developed the skills to defeat the, his enemy maybe a uh, some similar path could we perhaps punch some meat hanging on hooks in a in a fridge yes. i, I yeah. thought noel would particularly like enjoy that part of the uh the training sounds like a boring ass movie no, it it's is. really, it's a classic. It gets a bit strange as it goes on. I think they've done too many of them now, but uh, oh, that first one. Goblin movies are way better than mortal movies. Give me a rundown of a goblin movie. Okay, I never thought I would be the one to say this, but can we like focus or whatever? Yeah, Aren't we kind of dealing with more important things than stupid, lame movies? I guess if your leader has any sort of brain in her head, she's probably not going to be confronting him right now. He's probably going to do triage. Get some what more kinds of gods does he go after? Like, why did he kill our friend and leave us? Listen, this mm. is what I've got so far. Now, I don't understand the whole godhood thing very well, yet he just gave me a spark. As I understand it, that shouldn't even be possible, so I'm not sure why he can do that to outsiders. But you gods can only, I guess us gods, can only hold so right. many sparks. That increases the more powerful we get. So he doesn't hold all of them. Every god he kills, he can't hold it. He's taking select sparks to try to enact his grand scheme. His grand scheme being elimination of all the gods and goddesses. He's gathering mortals to help him do it. He's gathering some gods somehow to help him do it. God's willing to give up their sparks. You said your friend was who? The goddess of commerce. Of commerce, yes. He was running a little bit low on funds to oh, support right. his efforts, so my guess is he took her out to try to control the cash flow. Maybe, I, I mean, the only thing that can counter the god of atheism would be the knowledge of gods themselves, so maybe uh, gathering some friends of our own. The, that I know a man who is a god who's rather lonely might could use some friends. He's not a friend. I never want to be friends with him ever. I will literally murder him if I ever have to talk to him again. Listen, oh. I understand your sentiment completely, but we should probably try to be on friendly terms with as many gods as we can right now. We can duke right. it out afterwards. I, for one, would love to punch you right in your stupid face for eating my friends. That can wait, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. that explicitly yes, point. could wait. Well, now. Not about punching your face. Any of you history buffs, your relic brings up a good point, Andrew. Not that one. I would like to reiterate that one's a piece of shit, but relics. Can... All right, relics in general. What are we... Do you think there is a relic that could defeat this god? I don't know, but what I've heard by the old god wars is that right. whenever there was a standoff between the old powerful gods... Dwarves had a big part in deciding who took the fate. They made oh, gear that could turn the tides of battles. Just so happens I know a few around town here. There are dwarves here? Yeah. All right. It's no fair. They've just kind of integrated into society and people just see them as mortals. Hey. Why can't goblins do that? Just because we got, like, bright-colored skin? Look... If you had the right colored skin to blend in as a human being, they still wouldn't like you very much when you keep pulling pranks on them. So it's a bit of a moot point. 
You know, dwarves are rowdy too. It's hey, not they're rowdy, but I'm they're saying. like fun rowdy. They're like, eh, kind of rowdy, not uh, kind of rowdy. Yeah, well, they're speaking like, of that, they're rowdy kind like of rowdy. rowdy Roddy Piper. You're rowdy like Kane. Well, I guess what you're saying fits the in movie. because they do own a bar, a tavern, a bar. I don't know what the damn I, difference is. I think if a dwarf owns it, it becomes a tavern. Hmm. It makes sense. Hey. Well, called the Terwaz Tankard. They theme it as like a Viking themed bar downtown. The owner there goes by Gaz. He's a dwarf and he's a good crafter too. Holds to like the old crafting guild or deals or whatever they used oh. to call it. Real old fashioned guy. Oh no! The crafters guild. We may have recently made it. Maybe we do need to put Pence Boy into the into the mix. Get in on their good side. But that's going to hmm. take some convincing for Noel. And I don't really want him in the mix, although he is right in the center. And Fence is a pretty cool, I suppose. Fence. Yes. Yeah. Are you seriously talking? Are you seriously considering this? I. I mean. So, Will is already texting the fence, like he's messaging oh, him. No. Um, <laughs> in fact, I I want to I want to spend some my XP. If that is that doable during a game? Yeah. I'd like to create a bond out of this fence guy. <laughs> You're gonna make the god of fences a bond. <laughs> I am. I love that. I'll fin- spend five XP to do that. All right, yeah, let's make so him level an individual one bond. bond. He sends the invite, meets you at the park. I know you could use someone to talk to. Well, sure thing, neighbor. All caps. <laughs> oh no, I just <laughs> I could see that text, and it doesn't it doesn't help. It does the opposite of help. Great. If you can now get in good with the crafters guild. Again. I mean, hear me out. I oh, reviewed the strategy. Obviously, it's like what I do, right? Yes. I mean, if this god's literal manifestation is making other god's manifestations not exist, we need something to disrupt his manifestations. I don't know if you've ever tried, like, exerting your whole force to resist a manifestation. Uh, We can do that. I did it with one of you assholes who tried to do it to me. But he's so powerful. He's got so much essence. He'll just wear you down. So we need something to hinder that. Or we need a lot of fodder, for lack of better terms. Okay, well, Fence Sky can be fodder, so great. We've got a plan. I'm confused. Is Fence Sky a dwarf? Did you already know a dwarf? No, we knew a Fence Sky. He looks like Ned Flanders, and he loves to build fences and make trouble. He made a lot of trouble with us, so we broke some of his fences. That's where our current relationship is. I'm here to build motto. fences and make trouble, and I've I'm already all, built all, all my fences. fences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> Either way, he's he's a bit of a drip, and we don't like him. But he seems needy, and he did express interest in, in maybe joining the Pantheon. I don't think we want to go that yeah, far. After we literally wore his fence down and threatened I- him. I, it was a, an offer made out of fear, but an offer nonetheless. But I don't know if he's trustworthy, and I don't. I definitely know he's not nice. But if we could leverage that connection to get in with the Crafters Guild, it's probably better than being on the outs with the Crafters Guild. Yeah, they're not the friendliest bunch, so if you have an in, that would be pretty good. Hey. Um, Will has is going to apply his bored now curse and he's kind of disengaged with this whole conversation and he is literally messaging back and forth with francis like, okay yeah. excellent yeah francis is down to go meet so he's like what time noel is I... determined to not include fence god so she is going to try and find another way she's gonna go directly to the tavern and just try and Try and make her own way in to the Crafters or, Guild because she does. Do we not know want to any work. other Crafters people? Is there someone that you know who does props for <laughs> reality TV? Is part of the. I mean, I have I have a level three team. bond with my fans. I could probably ask them 
like yeah like i can i could lean on my bond to help with something they can find a lead that is a thing a group bond can do okay i want to do that then as will is bored and messaging francis noelle just like throws just like tosses her head whatever i'm done with this and she walks out texting on her phone and she screams over her shoulder will don't you dare read my text messages (laughs) <laughs> and uh, she'll continue to walk out. She's going to, like, message, uh, or, like, just post on her socials, you know, just, like, shout out to the fans, like, hey, anyone know, you know, X, Y, Z, like, looking for, I don't know, a good carpenter, you know, something very, like, benign and yeah, general. The best people in the city. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, go ahead and take that strain. And then I will roll to see what they turn up with. I'm going to roll that secretly over here. Uh, Will and Andrew are still in there when Noel walks out, right? Yeah, I think so. Listen. <laughs> She's left. Cool. He's texting. He's like, hello. Between us. Hey. She so seems Will's like texting she is like this. <laughs> yeah. Just like sitting I know what it looks like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Between us, it looks like she can do some dirty work if it needs to get done. Cool. I know that you gods, us gods, whatever, have like some kind of strict code. And listen, I'll learn to follow that because I get the merit on it. But if you're able to murk a god or a goddess who's helping Horatio, you make sure they stay murked. Have her do it if she needs. Look, I know what you're suggesting, and it's I don't I don't really want to go there, but we'll make sure that they're taken out of commission at least for a while take it from somebody who's seen some things sometimes you gotta go there well let's hope not your friend ate my friend i've seen some things that's true look she did eat your friend so i suppose i uh, maybe this is something you can discuss with her i I have eaten nobody's friends and i pride myself on it Eat Horatio's so, friends. Do yourself a favor. Do you know? You, you you talk about his friends. You talk about gods he's brought to his side. Do you know who any of these gods are? Wish I did. They're all pretty low-key. I know he gave a spark to some cherub, but... I, I, he, yeah, kept no, us... that, he he did also get eaten, actually. Um, yeah. just well, he was an bit. asshole, so that's fine. Yeah, cherubs like it worked suck. out for us. Yeah, yeah. Cherubs do suck. Yeah, he'll be back in like a year. Then maybe I'll eat it myself again. Hey, give it to go. That's all I've got for you for now. Okay. Listen, I move around a lot. I don't really like that your friend can find me so easy. It makes me nervous. So tell him to do that sparingly. Can you hear me? Hey. Are you texting? Look, he could Hello. hear you, but he's not paying any attention. He's not paying attention to this conversation. All right, well, I don't like it. I like to stay on the move. If you need me. Do some kind of bullshit like you did before with like the looking for a yellow goblin. I'll find you. Okay. All right. Like people poking in my business, but I'm on your side for now. Okay. Well, look, you now know the kind of resources we have to work with. We're going to try and look into a relic. And I hope that when we speak to you next, you might have even more of a plan for us because we're relying on you. We all have to rely on each other. All right. Ugh, this is sounding awful soft. Fine. Okay. Think about it this way. It's like you're playing a trick on the very concept of goblins by not playing a trick on us. It's a whole meta level that now that you're a god, you should be able to understand. <laughs> he thinks about it, and then he kind of smirks. There you go. You know, that helps a little bit. All right. All well, right. look, it was a pleasure, Drav. We'll I'm going to go break a some... car or something, because... Old habits die hard, but I'll see you around. Man, okay. I, I feel like if Noel hadn't eaten Drav's friend, they would actually get along really well. <laughs> All right, with that, he uh, hops back on his little trench coat mech, and he goes walking back outside, passes by you, Noel. All right. What are you guys doing from here? How long does it take my fans to... Uh, find a lead for me you know generally it takes like multiple scenes but 
I don't like that. Let's just say they get back to you. <laughs> uh, like, okay. what kind of what kind of things are you like searching for? Like, I mean, like uh, most of your fans probably so, don't know you're a goddess. Yeah, so. no, that's very not. I don't think anybody knows that publicly at all. Um, no one besides Andrew and Will. Mm -hmm. um, so dwarves own a tavern and we want to get in with them because they make and or have connections to relics, right? Yeah, that... they should be able to build us like a god-killing relic or like a protective thing. Okay, so we need to find someone who's friendly with them who would maybe like make that introduction or mm. somehow gain their like respect or good favor, I suppose. I, I know a guy. So <laughs> uh, we he's know alive him. right now. <laughs> we Will all know the guy. To your no, <laughs> no, no. Noel deletes the comment, deletes the response. Um, I think what she's gonna ask about maybe is like, uh, I think actually rather than like the crafting, I think she's just gonna ask about the tavern. Like, hey, you know, like anyone go here? Anyone regular here? Like, you know what? What do you mm. just like kind of get the vibe of like if anyone's like goes there a lot or like, oh, yeah, you know, I love the maybe there's like a band that plays there often. I don't know. Just something, you know, I want to know more about the place. And we got okay. a name for that tavern, didn't we? I've already forgotten it. Yeah. Tiwaz. Tiwaz? Tiwaz or Tiwaz? T-E-I-W-A-Z. Okay. Tiwaz. And the owner we got a name for is Tiwaz Tankard is what it's called. Tiwaz Tankard. And the owner we got a name for as well. Started with a G. Uh, Gaz. G-A-Z? Yep. G-O-Z. Oh, G-O-Z. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'll just I'll just ask, like, hey, anyone uh, you know, like Tiwaz Tankard or no Gaz, like thinking about going there, maybe doing like a Maybe like a meet and greet. I think maybe I'll frame it that way. Like so, some kind of like a fan event there to just see someone what has. They think you about see it. immediately someone has taken this clip of you asking your fans about it and they've stitched it with themselves going, "Oh, you would go to that stinky old tavern, wouldn't you? I only drink the finest wines at the finest establishments because I'm Pimpton Sinclair. Look at you, go and drink ale with your dumb buddies. Bye." There's already like hundreds of thousands of upvotes and downvotes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you do get one comment that stands out to you after like a good like five minutes or so. Uh, you get a reply that says, all caps, exclamation points, my bardcore band plays there every Saturday night. <laughs> Love it. Okay. I want to DM that person and... Uh, yeah, lean on them. See if I could go to their next show and maybe meet the owner to discuss my plans. Awesome. Yeah, you get the holy shit. Am I being trolled? Is this really Noel? Yes, period. Calm down, period. <laughs> so wait, like, now we know it's really you. Would this be like a date. Like, I can take you there. WTF? No. <laughs> Oh, I mean, like, we can just go as pals, too. That's fine. Can I get your picture when we go together? One oh, selfie. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Will Kay. chimes in. Kay. I'll, I'll take the selfie. No, this is a DM. <laughs> You're chiming into my DMs hey, now. In the day, <laughs> oh, it's my God. A God. My group chat, what? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, she'll... Yeah. She'll so agree you... to one selfie and, uh, yeah, Saturday night. Then she'll text Andrew because she knows Will already knows everything. <laughs> Andrew's, like, just in the coffee shop right now still. <laughs> and Andrew is sitting in Zigo Bay, really, really close, like, face-to-face -face sitting, staring at a pelican and just being <laughs> like, I think I've got a feel for this now. I think I get it now. I can feel something here. Just staring at a pelican. Uh, feeling the the connection of this pantheon, you're like I think I get birds now. <laughs> Fantastic! All right, so we have got 
a lead with Francis, the God of Fences. You have a fan whose bardcore band has an in with the tavern. And Andrew is feeling a connection with birds. I've done uh, enough so this session. You guys figure this part out. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, the way Noelle is going to present this to Andrew is she gonna she's going to text him and she's going to say, Bardcore band Saturday night or fence guy, period. Make your choice. I message back. Is this a date? <laughs> <laughs> WTF? No. <laughs> JK, JK. Let's go bardcore. Fence guy weird. K, period. <laughs> Fence guy messaging Will. So when are we meeting? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Bardcore band. Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all going to be there. Oh, fantastic. So with that, this feels like a pretty good place to wrap up the session. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll wrap up there, everybody. Very fun session crew. Thank you very much. Um, now, uh, we are potentially doing a session next week. Uh, but if we do, I will not be the GM. We may have a guest GM. Uh, it's potentially, well, I'm, I'm still working out details. So if you guys are on our Discord, we'll keep you in the loop there. Uh, we'll just make sure that we communicate what's going on. So we may be on next week. We may be off. We'll let you know as soon as we know. The following week, we will be off. I'm going on vacation, so I'm going to be out of town for a couple weeks. And then we'll be back in the full swing of things after that. And when I am back, I will be joined by a special guest as well. So it's going to be a good time. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate all of the Pantheon and Cursed Dice and everything else. You guys are great. Uh, before we wrap up for the night, though, let's talk about all the awesome people we had playing with us tonight. We'll start with uh, Nathan. Tell us about yourself, where you can be found. Yeah, Nathan Smith. Uh, find us at knightsofbastille.com. Got mobile apps in the Google Play and Apple Store. You can download NPC Generator, the magic item generator. It's some good stuff. Highly recommend it for your home games. Uh, very good. Pleasure as always, Nathan. Bill, tell us about yourself. Hey, I'm Bill. Go and check out stuff that I make. Go and listen to Escape This Podcast if you want to hear us try and make people solve fun, weird, uh, audio-only escape rooms. And go and check out Solve This Murder if you like us trying to solve murder mysteries that we one person writes, the other person tries to solve. Uh, and check out play this game underscore live on on twitch where we'll play games and puzzles and adventures and lots of fun dumb stuff yes indeed content's always light when bill is there check it out uh tori me and tori are from level one geek uh katie behind the scenes pushing all the buttons chatting with y'all we're all the level one geek team uh tori do you have anything that you want to discuss any announcements Thanks for tuning in, and if you guys are fans of me, then you should absolutely come Saturday night to see the Bardcore band at Tewa's Tavern and not talk to Fence Guy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Good stuff. Fantastic. I'm Chase, GM for this campaign. Nothing else to add. You guys can find me here. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, we'll let you know about next week. And until then, everybody, go take a long rest. Go hit the tavern up. Maybe do go talk to the fence guy. Maybe he is actually a delight. You never know, right? And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>